Praise the Lord. We thank God, our Father who art in heaven. Hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses. As we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thou is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Hallelujah. We thank Jesus Christ. We thank everybody who have just joined us. You are all highly welcome. Today is the day the Lord has made. Let all of us rejoice and be glad in it. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Beloved, I am so excited to see you once again. I know you are alive today not because of any special thing you have done, but because the grace of God has spoken for you. I want to welcome everybody that have joined us. We appreciate your time being here. I have seen uh, Beatrice Redu, Mami Janet, God bless you. God bless you, bless you, children of God. God Almighty bless you, everybody who have joined us. You are all highly welcome to this platform. Today is the salvation hour. And I want to, uh, Mama Beatrice, God bless you for sharing. God bless you. I just saw you sharing. God bless you. God bless everybody who joined us. We thank God. We bless Jesus Christ. And we thank Him for everything that He has done in our lives. We appreciate God and we honor Him for all what He is doing and what He is about to do once again. Beloved, let us pray and start the program. Our Lord, our Savior, our Master Jesus. Father, we thank You for everything that You have done for us. We appreciate You, we honor You, and we give You glory. Father, we thank you for ushering us into another day. All what we can say is that, Lord, we thank you. We bless your name and we give you glory. We all join our heart together and we worship your holy name this hour. Father, we thank you for bringing us together and we thank you for your presence. But the Bible says that whenever two or more are gathered in your name, Lord, your presence is already there. So we know and believe. The Heavenly Father, you are already here with us. So take all the glory and take all the praise. Father, we duly invite you once again that as you are here, take dominion. We commit everything we are coming to do tonight into your hand. Now, Father, take dominion of everything. We commit our heart. We commit our body. We commit our soul. We commit our mind unto you. Now, Father, use us to glorify your holy name. Empty us and fill us with your power. Touch our mouth as you did for the apostles. And Lord, put your words in our, in our mouth. That every word that will come up from our mouth tonight will be the word that comes from you. The Bible, the Bible said that our body is the temple of God. So Father, let our body be filled with your power with, of the Holy Spirit. And use us tonight to glorify your holy name. I commit everybody who have joined us and those who will join later into your hands. Now, Father, you purge all of us, our heart, with your blood. And as this word is coming, it will enter every heart. And we will go and perform the work. Father, I pray that let your children, let them know that the time and the hour has reached that you are here. So, Father, gather your children, bring each and everybody together. Now, Lord, I pray for anybody who will share this video. Now, Lord, as they are sharing, increase their blessing. As they are not ashamed of you, Father, bless them. Anybody who wastes his credit to watch me, Lord, let it not be a waste. For your Bible says, and the Bible says, that anybody who waits upon the Lord, his strength is being renewed. Father, renew our strength as we are waiting upon you. As we are here to share your, your true word, Father, help us that your children will not be the hearer, but they will go and be the doer of the word. Father, we ask for strength and power to overcome our enemies. The Bible says that you empower your disciples and you give them power to an authority over all satanic powers and all unclean spirit. Tonight, Father, grant us that power in the name of Jesus. We pray and we, we destroy every yoke of the enemy, every attack from any aquatic kingdom. 
from any Freemason kingdom, from anywhere. You can come down and destroy them by the blood of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. We break and destroy every yoke of the enemy. That has been a portion that has been a sign to attack our program tonight. In the name of Jesus Christ. Any monitoring eye. And the spirit of witchcraft, we overcome all of them in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we commit this program into your hand. Anybody who watch with a bad intention, we commit their heart to you. Now, Father, you forgive them and touch their heart. Father, I pray that let every soul that will leave this platform tonight, let them live here as a freedom, as a child of God who has been set free from every bondage. Father, as your word is coming, reveal your secret. The Bible said that you are coming, and everything indicates and shows that the coming of the Lord. Is so close in this afternoon. Father, I pray that as you are coming, help us so that we will also be like you. That the day that you come for your children, our time being here will not be waste. Lord, I commit anybody who is sick, anybody who is having any problem into your hand. That Father, as your children are ready to hear and share your word. Father, let your power manifest. For the Bible says that whatever you are, there is freedom. I thank you, Jesus. I thank you, Almighty God. Cover the whole place with your blood. I shook this program in the blood of Jesus Christ. Father, send forth your angels to cover the whole program, Lord. Warriors and doctors who come and help your children. And warriors who prevent and guide, that will guide us through the program. Now, Lord, I pray, any attack against this platform, let it be nullified by the blood of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ, every evil attack, every demonic attack against this platform, we overcome all of them by the blood of Jesus Christ. Father, this platform is yours because we are not using it for anybody but for you alone. Take dominion. And Father, let your power and your glory shine upon this platform. We give you honor. We give you praise. We give you worship. I thank you, Jesus, for answering our prayer in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. God bless everybody who have joined me. God bless uh, Brother Albert. Oh, man of God. God richly bless you. Uh, God will bless you, um, Mama Mary Adai. Praise the Lord, Mama Adai. God bless you. God bless you, uh, Sister Mama Linda. You see, Mama, it's been a while I spoke to you. I'll be glad to talk to you one one of these days. Uh, God bless you, Sister Jane Darzi. God will bless you, people of God. You are all highly welcome. Tonight we are going to have a guest, Mama Jane, to be here, so that we both share the true word of God with you. So I know you are ready. And you are ready for the true word. Hallelujah. God bless you, children of God. God bless you, everybody who have joined us. In the name of Jesus Christ. Brother Yabu Abright, God bless you. Mama Doris Awini, beautiful man of God. God richly bless you. So, Papa, what do you have to say? Hallelujah. Children of God, you are all highly welcome to this platform. Please share the link if you have just joined me. God bless you, people of God. People of God, God Almighty bless you. Father, our God has done a lot for us. Hallelujah. And we thank him for his mercies. Child of God, the Bible tells us that we should meet every day that we call it a day. Hallelujah. So if you have been seeing us here, God has done a lot for us. And we are also depending upon the scripture. Hallelujah. So you are highly welcome. I've seen brother in Shraba. God bless you. God richly bless everybody who have joined me. People of God, tonight too, we are going to continue with the true word of God. And anybody who is here, I know you never live here the way you came here. Please, all what I need from you is that please kindly share the link. Kindly share the link. Hallelujah. So, child of God, if you don't know why we are here, I want to read something from Hebrews chapter 3, verses number 12. Praise the Lord. Let's hear the word of God. The Bible says, Take care, brothers, lest there be in any of you an evil, unbelieving heart, leading you to fall. Hallelujah. Away from the living God. Hallelujah. But exhort one another every day. The Bible says we should exhort one another every day. Praise the Lord. As long as it is called today, that none of you may be hardened by the deceitfulness of sin. Praise the Lord. So the Bible says that I see who can't see now. I see now. Um, um, muntu to muhufu. The biara wa dasu boni dinse enne no. Na boni enada em primu mu biara akuma. 
That is why you have been seen as always. Bible says, yet to do your hopeful. So we are here to advise each other. We are here to preach to you the true word of God. That by the grace of God, you understand it. Hallelujah. God bless you. God bless you all. God bless each and everyone who have joined us. Uh, we thank God for this day. And the radiance is a man so a day at Cheyenne. On the end, you know, at the end, and I am who a man so. In sure about the change, I God wish you bless you so much for joining us. Mr. Yabua Bright, uh, Radisha also saw a journey. My Miko Sia, Radisha said, or journey a sister to uh, read you. God wish you bless you too for joining us. Madam Janet Dazi. Radisha, please, so we're joining here. Please, if you join us, you share the feed for us. Kindly share the feed for us. Mama Doris, I want to go rich. Bless you too for joining us. Uh, you about Mary Adai. Mary Adai, a radi Oshra. I say a very good evening, my lovely family. Good evening, Mary. Mary, on what to say, and I mean, you say a radi Adum, oh yeah, Mr. The Changer, and also say by the grace of God. He is also doing fine. Radi Asho, Bibi, I say, God bless you, Papa of the house. God richly bless you too, Mr. Bright. Your boy said, Good evening, everyone. Good evening, uh, sir. We thank God for our life. My dear sister, Sally Lee in Kumada. God richly bless you too for joining us once again tonight. He said, Good evening, prophet and mom. Good evening, my dear sister in Kumada. God richly bless you so much. God bless you so much for joining us once again tonight. God bless each and everyone who is on this platform. We appreciate you all. We appreciate you all. We thank God that He has given us this day that we can also say that we are among the saints because we can talk, because we can do whatever we want to do. And then so yeah, but I bet you a radi asem. Yeah, no, Anna, I bet you a radi asem. Say the debi ayi no no. Wherever we meet on this platform, we share the word of God with you. We come hand in hand, word with word on word with you. And so today is not going to be a different day. And also, I bet you say say the debi ayi no no. Now, what can you do now? Yeah, share a radi asem. A radi Ezra upi. And also, yeah, ne, yeah, yeah, ba Janet. By one, one and a half or two hours time, no? we will be done with it and then we will leave this platform. Shout out God, give glory to God. If I join us, you can just type and give praise and honor to god just type and give praise and honor to god god richly bless anybody who have joined us can you kindly share the link for us can you just type i think now everybody can share now so if you join us kindly share can you type and give glory to god god has done a lot for everybody who is listening to me today is the day the lord has made let us rejoice and be glad in it so if you are watching me can you just give glory and thank god for what he has done for you it is not by our strength, it's just by the grace of God. People of God, you are all highly welcome. Christ is coming very soon. We thank God and we bless the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Amen. Na ya drink is as some of them. Now, you need a radi as some of them, and Nancy. You need a radi as some of them, and Sandy, a busy and cry a year. I said, a busy and cry a bread, a bread for a bread, and as I dear eighteen, and I'm not as a new name. One, I yell for a year, fear so. Not one, so I yell for a samando. It's a semi new name, you have bought a braboni year. Let us watch our ways well. Today I just want to, I just want to encourage each and everyone on this platform. I just want to put something in your mind. Say, let us watch our ways. Yeah, show you how kind a year, Mama Vida Agbayeke. God richly bless you, Mommy. God bless you so much for joining us tonight. Evangelist Judith, I come back. Mommy, God richly bless you too. 
for joining us tonight. And then any more already on the end, you know, Eddie Lee, Epa, Hana was out. Good evening. Good evening, my dear sister. Already on Kao Pan, already in Shaw, Obibia, or Kaya, or Sabre, or the full end channel, please. So, Abba, it's your brain, I bring in a year before, yes, yes, you home. Yeah, make an essay, young two, and yeah, maybe you, and yeah, maybe I answer and fata, I want a brabonum, and yeah, maybe I, yeah, 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 did this away, a year bonnet. Let us not be convert comfortable in our sin. And my young snabonin, no, yeah, my bonnet, no, and yeah, 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 say, yeah, yeah, bonnet, and check, and if I say, I say, I say, for us, I see so. May I day I may call sounds on our so we are No matter how you, you, you do it, no matter how you do the work of God, no matter how you talk about God, whatever happens, a time is coming up. You you see yourself in the fridge. A time is coming, you see yourself in the mortuary, a time is coming. A time is coming. Now why 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 a dead body? Now say time no. Oh now one pass be him. But now that be a ye be a one pe. Be a ye be a one pe. It's as a ye dey ah. Emre no do ah. When he ever be am a one who be be a one. Now be one who say we a ni ye and I say one ye ni ye. So a time is coming. Our lives is not going to be like this. We are not going to see ourselves like this, hand in hand, and then we talk, and then you can hear me, and then I can also hear you know. A time is coming, we may not see it like that. So however it is, however it is, let us leave everything. Yenjai bibiemu, and fa woni ni obi ayo, and fa woni ni watse. Jai bibiemu, nema weni daso enye Christ. Shusha Christ, look for Jesus Christ. This is the time that when you look for him, you can find him. So let us look for Christ now. My dear sister Rosemont, I just want to bless you too for joining us. Mama Rama too. Evangelist already. Oh, she has passed. And anyway, what you intend? Already trying to do my part. Also, oh yeah, already enter home. Pa, already enter home. So glory be to your Lord Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. Mama Rama, already. Mama Rama, already. Oh, she has passed. Uh, Mama Victoria, say greetings to my great mommy and daddy. God bless you for the good work you are doing. We appreciate you so much for thinking about our salvation. Amen and amen. Yada eradi asi, yada eradi asi. Akwenya wode amaye. Eradi ni enyina edi ni ye. Mama Victoria, di mi a evangelist. God richly bless you so much. We thank God for this day. We thank God for our life. So as I was saying, yesha ya kwenye odofo. Yesha ya kwenye. Yesha ya kwenye. Na eche na Christ abba. Ya abrini abrini na ya nye ya jinsi ya beti Christo ne. Na ya dene neno anante. Nya o kachre ya no let us adhere to it. Na ya mfa di eradi e kachre ya no mfa nanti. E she ni pa ana e she abrabonu. So what you are born now, you cannot go forward. If you think you, you 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 are going to look at what some people are saying, what people are doing, it's not everything that is nice that you have to go for it. No, it is not everything that you see. You see that this one is beautiful. You see that this thing is nice. You see that this thing. I wish I have it. It is not everything like that. That you have to go for it. That you have to go and touch. That you have to yearn to get it. No, it's not because. Sometimes in our lives, you will think this car is beautiful. So you have to go for that car. You don't have that money. What are you going to do? Sometimes you find yourself stealing. You find yourself adding more zeros to it when you are in the offices. Just to have that thing for yourself. And these things are all sin. And sometimes you get this thing and it will take you to your grave. I will to me any sarcasm. And I uh, 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 no, no. Not that car, no. And the airport got to at watch it. Evangelist Judith, I come back, Mama. God richly bless you for uh, sharing the word of God and then meeting us once again. We thank God you are here. Ah, uh, me Papa, and so I was so Mr. Barfeni. Papa, already ensure I'll say what journey or see. I thank God for my life. Already ensure I'll say what journey here, Mr. Albert Chumesi. Mr. Albert Chumesi. Mr. Albert, you may see Papa Eradi Asia said also Ababeka Yensa Sabri Yada Eradi Asi Odo Ene Ahufa Ma Mode Edo Ye Eradi Asia and Posse. Today is another beautiful day. Thank you, Lord Jesus Almighty. Amen and Amen. Eradi Oni Yenina Edi Niyosi. To God be the glory, great thing He has done, and greater thing He will do. Glory be unto the Lord. We thank God for this day. Other four anti 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 anti
Naya ni Christo, and I say, Mempre, Mempre, by the time you realize, you know, not what can on Sa Ebu Obo. I just say, Wababa, I'm going to up and me chow and say, and I'm going to be better. Unless this person come and nail that and beg me before I will forgive that person. Even God that we are serving was not like that. He did not raise up his arms like that. But just look at us. Yeah, 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 mere mortal. Yeah, 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 mere human beings. Just look at what we are doing with our life. Just look at what we are saying with our life because all because we have a little bread. All because we have a little mouth to talk. Let us beware of all that we say. Let us beware of the life we are living now. Because in no time, Christ will come once again and then tell you to be able to do it again. If you have a conscience, your conscience tells you this is bad. Try as much as possible to refrain yourself from it. Don't do this, do that, do that. Try to adhere to it. And then exercise whatever you are doing. Think about it, whether you are on the right path or not. And you, when you, whenever you know that this is not right, you are not on the right path. Whenever you realize you are not on your right path, sorry, I, I, I had to look at the tape. Whenever you see that you are not on the right path, you make sure that you move and then be on the right path. Send your ebaya a Christo pian and when you move, go on your iraba. Radi ewe ya mo bona ka ya mo mo ya. Na ya ti mini Christo enante na akwa iso na esie ye. I say I'm happy today. I can share. Mama Victoria, the radia si se ye ni na ebe so ye be ti mi a share. I say glory be to His name. Hallelujah, Hallelujah. So I thank God for my life. Amen and amen. We thank God for our life. Glory be unto the name of the living God. Watch your ways very well. Just watch your ways very well. And then maybe I answer and factor if you are brabum. I trot it, you are trop, I trop or consan. I be a young old dear or some of the men saka. Try as much as possible. So be ye, sir, never being in our every wabrabum. Now, at me, as you cray ye, at me, as you cray ye. May the Lord be with us. May the Lord bless us. May the Lord protect us, our in and an out. Wherever you go, may the Lord protect you, take you, and then bring you back home safely. With your kids, with your husbands, with your wife. And I know our lives are not going to be the same. And in no time, we are all going to meet our Savior, Jesus Christ. Mama Ajua Pell, God will bless you for joining us. We thank God. It's another day the Lord has made. The Lord has given us another month. And we have all ushered into a great month. A great month, which is March. We have ushered into which we are all coming to March with our success we are coming to march through our success and i know we are going to end up successfully successfully this match may whatever good that is in this match be our portion in jesus mighty name and may, may the lord cancel anything that is bad anything that is coming our way in this new month that is going to give us sorrows and all that may the lord use the blood to cancel everything in the mighty name of jesus christ of nazareth May God bless each and everyone over here. So we meet again. We are still saying God bless you and share the word of God for us. And then try as much as possible to meet us on this same platform. Anytime, any moment you see us on this platform. God bless you all. Amen. Andrew Appel says, uh, God bless you all. Bless you too, my dear sister. Our platform is so Radi Asia Bibi Aya de Radi Asi Akwenya Radi Di Amaya No Ebro Aje Eni Enti Asi Asu Radi Ni Ye Nira Edi Ni Ye Enti Yakase Asida Enka Radi Aye Ye Enka Radi Asida Enka Radi Aye Ye Enka Radi Eda Radi Asi Oni Radi Aye Edi Amaya Glory be to the name of the Living God Amen Amen. Mama Ekumada, I say hallelujah, hallelujah. Amen and amen, mommy. Amen and amen. I hope everything is going on well. Everyone is doing well in the house. We thank God for 
such a pleasant day and an awesome moment we are all ushering ourselves into. Mama Georgina Zigli, God rich bless you too for joining us today. Today we are here to share the word of God, the salvation hour. We are here to share the word of God. Wherever you, 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 you hear of salvation, you have to let something click your mind. Wherever you hear of salvation, salvation is not on a silver platter. Salvation, no one will give you salvation. You have to find a salvation for yourself. You have to search for the salvation yourself. So wherever you hear the word salvation, something has to click your mind. All that has to click your mind is that do away with every ungodly thing. Just do away with every ungodly thing. Things that will not benefit you. Things that will not glorify the name of the living God. Whenever you hear the word salvation, that all those things has to be taken away from your life. You have to do away with all those things so that Christ will be the master of your life. Christ will come and stay in you. If Christ is staying in you, if Christ is being with you all your days, then you know that you are still on the road for salvation. Salvation is very crucial. Salvation is very necessary for all of us on this earth. So far as we are on this earth, and we believe that one day, one day, we have a place that we are supposed to go. That we believe that a day is coming. We will leave this earth and go and meet our master. When you don't have salvation, you can never be there. When you don't have salvation, and you don't look for salvation, <coughs> your life is going to be miserable on this earth. May God bless us and may the Lord help us so that we all find the salvation we have to get for ourselves. May the Lord bless us and help us to look for the salvation. Don't depend on your pastor. Don't depend on your mother. Don't depend on your father to get salvation. To get salvation. But look for salvation yourself. Total repentance will help you to get your own salvation. So that when Christ suffers once again, you will be called a saint. Christ can go with you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Christ, in Christ we have salvation. In Christ we have our joy. Therefore, let us be joyful in the Lord always. As we have joined uh, this platform, I know we are all in a joyous moment as we have joined this platform. May God bless you and then may God be with us all. Amen and amen. Amikosia, uh, you are welcome. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. But I'm going to come up with No, no, it is where I am. Hey, I'm a Becky Bochy. God, we bless you for joining us and sharing the feed for us. Um, Amikosia, I hope everything is fine. I'm a by God's bless you. We are doing well. We are pulling it out with you. We can never come the radio to say, and then so Rade Amakwina, whatever can't you? Rade Osha was May God bless each and everyone who have joined us uh, today. Today we are here to share the word of God. So thank you, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, for the gift of life. Amen and amen. So bless you too, mommy. Ah, bless you, Mama Becky. Eradi Asia of Fana, Eradi, and no, they need me here. But if you are a wa, Osho, Osho. Amen. People of God, we welcome everybody who have joined us. Uh, please, if you have not shared the link, I want to encourage you to share the link. There's one thing I want everybody to know. And if you are watching me, you are not lost. You are the right place. Can you let's share? Let's invite our brothers and sisters to join us. Wherever you are, please. Can you share the link? Share the link and your life will never be the same. Hallelujah. People of God, everything shows that we are in the end time. The question I want to put you today is that what about if anything happened to you tonight and you are not able to see tomorrow? Where do you think your soul will go? Whether you like it or not, whether you are a preacher, you are you self for rich, whether you are a mate, whether you are a, 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 a trot trot driver, one day you leave this earth. Let it let it be part of our life. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Many people want us to tell them that God is love. God is so so love. That is why we are still alive. 
and it's a fact that is not the only thing you should know about God. And ready, in your mind, because I'm here, I'm going to make you come. I'm going to make you come. I'm going to make you come. Praise the Lord. So I've seen uh, Mrs. Ochre. How are you? I believe you are doing very well. God richly bless you. So, Mami Janet, you are highly welcome. I don't know whether you have anything to say before we okay. start uh, today's program. Thank you so much, and God bless you. Thank you so very much. Um, we thank God for how far He has brought us. He has been so wonderful. He's been so great, and then it is by His grace that we are still alive. Just like He has Yes, He's shown us so many, many love. He's shown us, you know, all that He has to show His children. So that for what we have to do is to be grateful to Him. What we've all done that by giving thanks to him, to him in the first section. And then we are now getting ready to um, listen to the word of God. Um, our pastor was saying something, he said, your pastor has told you, said, God is love, that is why we are still alive. Yes, indeed, he is love. He's so merciful, because most of the things that we do, like almost everything, you know, we deserve punishments from him, but because he showed us his mercy, we, we, we have to go through some punishments. And so I am not withholding most of them. And then he allows just a little one to just, you know, pass by us. You know. And even with that one, cry, we still complain and then we still say whatever thing that we want to say. But one thing for sure is that who is capable of killing and your body destroying and then repairing or you're capable of destroying and so we should know that for sure and on what you can do to prevent all that is to be able to do his will if you're able to do his will that's when you're going to still enjoy his love and everything that he has given to you or everything that you have in stock but if you do something otherwise there then get ready because he's going to deal with you in his own way and so god bless us all as we are here let us all be attentive and then let us be ready to listen to the word of god if you have any contributions you can you know join us where you can put it up so in the comment section so that we can read if there's a chance for as to you know, accept um, call us in then you can also come in if that's what the lord wants you can also come in and then i think say um the lord will help us also may god bless us all and may the lord protect us and then make us attentive to be the listeners and then the doers of us well, sometimes we listen to the word but we don't do what the word says we do what we like but may god have mercy upon us today dear if we listen may the lord help us be the doers of it and then god is really going to bless us so god bless us I think that's all for this is what I can say for now. Well, God bless you so much too. Amen and amen. God bless you. So I just wanted to ask one question. So um, what advice will you give to um, someone who is eager to know more about God? Someone who want to be like, let me say, who, who want to maybe ask God has given him a gift of seeing. Someone is aspiring that I wish I have this type of gift. <laughs> so, what advice will you give to someone? Maybe someone wanted to ask you such a question. Okay. What advice will you give to me? Okay, the, I, um, the advice I can give it's a good initiative, it's a good um, motive, and I say a good aim to be able to attain that. But it doesn't just come like that, you have to work for it. And then you working for it, you don't have to use your own strength. The Lord is going to direct you. The only thing you have to do as a person is that you avail yourself and then give your whole self to Christ. That is what he made me do. I didn't know him. I wasn't doing his will. I was doing what I like. I thought what I was doing was me serving God, but that was in the wrong direction. And then sometimes I say, say, if I die at that moment, nobody would have told me where I'll be going. It would just be straight to her. No, no, be an only do, be an kind because one can send himself a now, boy, and that is where you have to be. So no cab, no bend, straight into where the fire no maybe a question of it's not my call. But gradually, by God's grace, he made me get to know one or two things and then he helped me. You see, he put his fear in me when I left Ghana and then I got to America. I had some so like some funny, strange fear in me. It was a fear of the fear of him and then the fear of unknown things also. So it was mixed up together. But then the fear of him was so like it was so much that I was eager to do his will. I'm going for that. It doesn't matter who you are that you talk to me that, oh, this one there, if you don't do it, I won't, I won't talk to you. I don't care about you. What I cared about is God. And you know, I made up my mind, said, yes, I'm ready to work with him. He made me available for himself. And he himself came to me. He spoke to me that it is time for him to use me. And then gradually he started training me. Like he was just giving me trainings. You know, you will not understand, especially if you don't take care. Say, I do for training, I'll be power 
but he is your strength. He's going to strengthen you. And to the American, say, a good initiative, but be prepared also. Say, you avail yourself unto him. You can't do anything that you think you like. No, because the world will not be yours again. It will be his. So he will take dominion over you and tell you what to do. So, so far, I think, say, um, that is the little I can tell, um, tell whoever is aspiring the giftings that God has given to me. I thank God for the giftings and I pray say, he protect them for me because sometimes it becomes so much, I'm not bragging about it, but sometimes it becomes so much that I even get confused with what he's trying to tell me. But I thank him saying, oh no, he has given it to me and then he's still going to direct me. So if you're aspiring to have the giftings, just be focused or say you're ready to do what he wants and what will please him only. Because Omar Solomon wisdom, you know, or catch you and say, so, and then he added riches and all those things. And then if you are able to obey his command and walk in his ways, then he's going to show whatever you wish, whatever you ask him, he'll just give it to you. So I think said that is um, what I will say for now. So what about someone who has been even saying that uh, even uh, when even when I dream, I don't even remember it. How can I be? How can I do that? And someone who, who is also tired of following God, <laughs> what advice are you going to give to him before the true word of God? Okay. okay. Um, the advice I'm going to give to the person is that that is an evil manipulation. We are dealing with spirit and then they'll come your way to just make you uncomfortable. It doesn't mean we don't go through that. I, went, I even went through this morning and even during that day, I was feeling so funny and I just can't describe the feeling. They will come in and then, but anytime I'm in yourself, feeling the Lord will tell me, I know what about Sarah, they bear yes, or bear your mouth, say, Ujidia, Nya may bear your mouth. You get what I mean? And to know, he knows he has given the room, and then they'll come in your way to prove to him, saying, Did if you have faith in him, they'll come and stress you out. Sometimes you dream and you forget. So, me, I don't worry my head when I dream and I don't remember in the morning, or I'm not just my sorry. Sometimes when I'm praying and then I, I try to cast my mind back onto the dream, I tell him, say, oh, Lord, um, as I'm praying now, back me. I don't stress my head at all because I know say, he is with me and then whatever it be, you know, I mean, see, the only thing is I commit it into his hands and I tell him, say, whoever that was in the dream, and then I cut it short there. But me who said, like, it's coming more. I go on my knees and then I pray and I plead with him. So I don't remember the dreams. This is not how he trained me up. And this is not what he's giving to me. So he should help me. So he will just bring, start bringing everything back. Do not give up. Do not lose hope. But God is with you. Don't groan. Don't, don't. The enemy just wants you to do that. To just disrespect him. To just dishonor him. But mind you. Just be focused. Whoever you're working with is not going to leave you. He is with you. Sometimes God was like, said, God is not even with you. You want to find out, hey, is God with me? Hey, I say, Radi ain't coming. I say, Radi ain't coming. Or when you find yourself feeling in a baby, but when you say, what can't, Say or in jail or in power, and if I want to not send this, no, you did you anymore. Not say baby, I edge and wherever it's 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 slanting off, no, just take it to him in prayer because he is with you. When he was in the boat with the with the disciples, he knew that that's what he was going to come, he knew that the waves were going to come, but he slept. And then when the time was coming, when the uh, waves were coming and then the people were so much afraid, the Bible said that they called unto him. So, in that for oh, that word, he's trying to tell you, say, He is with you. All you have to do is to call unto him. There are some things he will come in. There are some things you have to call him for him to come in. So don't give up. Don't lose hope. Just hold on to your faith. Sometimes the things we do, and then the more body for you know, to come and play their part and all that. But you know what? Bible say you pemuko you mubo who for no cry for so the beche. No one did a funny anti very much. To be said, what they say? Oh, who you now But men, men, papa, men, she has because wherever you are going, that's almost some. I'm telling you, God is powerful than that Obosun. The Obosun will just waste your time. So me, I tell God, when I'm getting the attack, I'm like, God, there's no way I'm going to stop serving you. If what I'm seeing, if what I'm hearing is not of you, please don't let the enemy waste my time to let me do things for him. Because if you won't let me serve you, then I won't serve anybody. I'll sleep. I just want to be like alone, not serving anybody. But because it's you that I want to serve. So if you won't let me serve you, I don't want to serve anything because I don't want to waste my time. I didn't make a question on who to me tell that. Me pedi owo to me. I extend when you are coupon there. But to be a new one, I want to own. I'm in the home base. So that is what we have to know. So I plead with us all that be encouraged, be motivated. It is not an easy journey. He never promised you anywhere that the journey was going to be easy. Nowhere in the Bible, except I haven't read it yet 
the journey is not easy. If he didn't have it easy, then please, who are you? You are just a creator. He created you. So he that created you didn't have it easy. Now why are you not being easy? Please calm down and relax. And you know, have faith. If you feel say all is down, all is gone, just give thanks to him. Just say your prayers and then commit everything into his hands and then just box on. He's going to be with you. So God bless us all. Amen and amen. So, um, okay, I want you to share one secret of anybody who wants to remember his or her dream. What what are some of the things that person need to do? So how to, to remember the dreams? Yes. Oh, yes. say the dreams they were in the demo, and then or they were in your pen or yeah. Now because sometimes the kind of things we do, the sins and all that, no. And my opponent follow crime, my ultimate attack it. You know, try to hold it. But the point is, he cannot take it from you. The only thing is, you have to revive yourself. You have to pray for God's revival. What say what they say? He should revive you and then put you back on track. So all is prayer, all is worshiping him, and then standing on his word to pray. You don't just wake up and do anything, and then you pray, and then you think you're walking away. You have to study his word. You have to base on the word and pray. It is said, I'm sorry, you know. So when you're funny, I refuse now, but also, I'll come by, but maybe I'll cast about a refuse. Who did not send me? So when you're funny, I'll be able to send me, but also, who did not send me? So when you're funny, I'll be able to send me, you base on the word, and then you pray. And then you just have faith in him. Say, whatever thing that you've asked, no, he's going to give it unto you. So I think so it is not your doing because whatever you do, if you try to stress your head to even remember the dream, I'm telling you, you're just going to waste your time. So just leave it to him and then he will take charge. And as you're praying, you know, say, no, we found one more and Kaya or tell me, son, I don't just on you. He has the time that he does everything. Just keep on praying. Just like Sophie, you've been saying, until the bones are rotten. So until the bones are rotten, don't give up. Just continue to pray. So I think that that is the secret. The secret is studying the word praying and then giving him thanks and worshiping him. That is what Sophie, I can say. Okay. God, God, Richard, bless you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. God Almighty, bless you so much. So, Amen. children of God, our sister has shared a lot with them us tonight and i believe that anybody who is listening to me has taken one or two points from it hallelujah so and what advice will you give to someone who is having uh who, who always want to hear something whose ear is itching here you want to hear something want to see a man of god who can um prophesy and then tell him that this is what is happening what advice this is what is happening to you this is how you should go about it what advice can you give to such a, a, a child of god okay um it's just a waste of time number one mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. nobody can look for god for you just know that what do you think the person is doing that is supernatural that you think that makes god speak to the person mm -hmm. but god is not mm -hmm. speaking to you i know say a snobiani i tell you about the but I'm telling you, if you're walking in his ways and then whatever you yearn for, he will give it to you. He will have so many ways of talking to you. Even It is not everything or catch yourself for Michael. It's not everything that or catch me. Sometimes we we'll all go into a conclusion say we are praying about something. Now you're in a in a different picture, no. Never dear man answer. Now you're here too, no. Never dear child, but you get what I mean. It he knew why he brought us together because he has empowered us differently. But what I'm going to tell you is that don't rely on anybody for that. Rely on God. Don't remember what someone you're the someone was soon you're the bone. Someone be kasachi because when you say you are you're ready to listen and then it will make you go anywhere because if you hear that oh this person can prophesy like one man of god that i've seen on social media and even this one i saw something about him like somebody you know endorsing him and all that and then it was like on youtube when i saw it i was just looking at it because from what god has revealed to me from what god has revealed to suffer michael and when the person is standing there the way in which Obejina prophesy i am so aggressive and so like seriously you might think it's so, it mm. i'm telling you he can read you and the, i'm sure say he can even count the bones in your body if you give him the chance but he is not of the lord according to what the lord has revealed so it might lead you to a, a dead zone a dead place the mechatron said we should ask and it shall be given unto us you are doing his will 
so you are obeying his commandment you are serving him how he wants you to serve him there is nothing you ask me i didn't pray for prophetic gifting so no i know say in my family it's a gifting that they have because i cried the actual covenant that is what he has written you see a idea a will be Ah, omuwa. But baby, na in who you see, like the, most of them couldn't know how to use it because I'm sure I don't know what they were doing. But it's their own problem, not my problem. It's never work out. We do say we could do it. But at onto so be fair. Ready here now on Sabe Kano. If you don't take God, boy, you never get it. You see, you go ever to tell you, oh yourself, oh, oh your default. But because we need ready up there, ready onto me for Obi and Sabi. If you want to, Mbe yena pedi, Mbe yena ejuma no way. Because he knows that the enemy can base on that. You just obet me a jury will go at any time. Obet me a mo guni di any ma senti. He will not allow you to come and disgrace him. So me, he told me, or see before I come to him, unless obet puni me huni na answer na me to me a banenteng. That is what he told me. And you know, what I'll tell you is that don't rush to go and listen to anything from anybody. No. That's why when we meet here, we are praying. I tell you, say, don't come with a mindset of prophecy. Or, oh, oh, Jesus, I don't care. I don't come with you. Because once I want you, I know you're ready to solve that. So, no, you're ready to solve that. And I'm a part of me. 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 And I'm a part of me. No. Unless you do what will make me happy. Because if you call me and then you're always annoying me, I can't talk to you. I can't give anything of mine to you. No, 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 no. Maybe I, I, I can have you in mind, so as soon as he is my friend, but I have this other side of the person. It's in the America tone is saying, short, no, don't rush and go and listen to anything from anybody. If God wants to talk to you, he knows how he wants to talk to you. The only thing is, do his will, serve him right. Don't can if you are walk in his ways, and then whatever thing he want, you want, if you ask him, he'll give it. If he wants to give it to you, he'll give it to you. If he won't give it to you, he won't give it to you. You can't force him and you can't charge him for that. And so you know, the America said, don't rush to go and listen to anything. Some people also, one funny thing about it is some people can prophesy and all that, but I do couldn't call who you know. God has not even given him the power to even break that thing for you. And you want to say, Oh, software can who are you? Not what's not your three years, not another one. So almost what can who are you? So I'm done with my software called catch him and the cosy say. And see, please. One can send you a dinya san yon kofano. He will communicate it to you. Obu ane di ane ye e di ye. Um, you sleep and then you have the dream. Obu an sonu kasa se no. Onye vi udi na pe na na era de kan wase ma chenu. Obu ati one na ne era de kan chenu. Obu a kai ba bu na ne era de man that mind eh you know interpretation. I come on the mind, I'm on the mindset. Then my mind told me to pray. Like it varies in different ways. So you have your own, but it's because we are not we are not doing as well. That is why we've not been able to identify it. So please, no sofu can help you. And no sofu has any strength in there. It's God. So just look up to him and then he will see you through. God bless you. So the, what 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 advice will you good will you give to anybody who does not pray about the church and attend any church that um that mentioned the name of Jesus Christ? Anybody who attend any church who has not prayed about that church? What the last this is the last question, then I will we'll just enter into today's topic. So sister uh Gladys has written something down. Can you read it for us? To, today, uh, today, I was in my first interview ever since I was born. Born Last week, Daddy, you told us that there would be good news. And indeed, I reserved my good news and went to an interview. Thank you so much, Daddy and Mama. Thank you. Amen. So we pray that may the grace of God connect you. Amen. I don't know the outcome of the interview. But I pray that may God grant you that favor. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 So huh? this chat thing, eh? <laughs> if it comes up like this and this prophet starts, I don't know. I have like a different feeling for that. And probably I'm sure say it's based on the experience that I've had. That is why. Whatever church or whichever church you decide to go, I'm pleading with you. Pray about it. I'm talking. No, every man who can prophesy is from God. And I no, that. No, that is an error. If you should think that. Some of them can pretend, mention mm -hmm. Jesus' name, make you do fasting. Meaning, what be cried there, or to me, I saw a man who cried a recorded video talking about Jesus and then they post on their status. But in the spiritual realm, he is more than like a demon. So don't be deceived. That is why, as an individual, you have to have a personal relationship with God. 
If you have a personal relationship with him, he's going to direct and order your steps. But with me, with whatever thing that I went through, because I didn't have that relationship with him, I was just living any life that I thought was, you know, pleasant. And I thought you're going to check. My mindset was going to look for him. Mm -hmm. But in looking for him, no, I, I, I did it wrong. I didn't know the right way because I had no connection with him. Yes, he loved me. Mm -hmm. He protected me. But I could have saved my head those headaches and those stress if I had a personal relationship with him. So I can one young kofa and kase ahu here here na mikomuno and kebi and kame save me ho sa stress and kame prepare me ho because me kwa me busano and I come back to him that this place don't go there I'm not there this place I'm there so you can go or go here or go there. So one thing I'll urge you, whoever is going to church, whether mega church, small church beginning church the, the church whatever church it is i think one experience that I'll, 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 one example that i'll bring in is the lord gave me a revelation about one holiness pastor if i should mention the holiness pastor's name here and i tell you what the lord tell, told me you will insult me you say i don't think that jane is okay i'm sure there's something wrong with jane because you are going to judge from the outside demeanor, the appearance, the humility. You are going to judge from all those angles and then you will insult me. When the Lord told me that, when the Lord told me about the person, I didn't know the person. Let me wound that. Like, I didn't know his face, nothing. And the Lord mentioned the person's name, told me what not to do in the media. Because I didn't know the person. So I go, come on. I didn't know the person, so I ignored. Later, I went to fall into that ditch that the Lord was telling me not to fall into. And then Pastor Michael knows what I was talking about. After everything, after everything, I told Pastor Michael that this is the issue. But on also no one said, can't train it, you know. He also was contemplating and then he said, said can be You know, so my prayer was that may the Lord reveal it unto them. So any time that the person comes up, I, I feel so bad. I feel so, I said, it's only me that the Lord has revealed to me. And sometimes it causes me to think and start to doubt. Until recently, let me keep it so for about two years and three years new, right? Yeah, about two years. About two years or three years new. Everybody really can't. The, the Lord told me about the personal. And then I was just wishing that God would reveal it to somebody. Lo and behold, just last week, I was talking to someone. And the person brought the person is a member of the church, and the person is on the platform. I'm sure so she can hear me. The person brought up the issue. I hadn't said because the person told me, say, hold the car, sorry. And I said, Oh, okay, because you know, with the prophetic giftings, you don't just say anything anyhow. Because sometimes the way you understand it, that is not how God means. So you have to take your time and let God talk to you. So you can't just go and start talking plenty. And sometimes the things when God hasn't told you, even it's what you understand. But if God hasn't told you, you cannot just go and say, so running can't just say, go and talk to this person or that. You can't just go and talk because there are some things we don't just talk about them. So when the lady told me, and I said, oh, okay. And then me, I forgot about it. Later, she, she was talking to me. She said, Sir, she's been having a series of dreams about the Osofo. And then I asked her, Sir, what is the dream about? And she started telling me, like almost 99% similar to what the Lord revealed to me. So when she said it, in fact, indeed, the Lord has given me a gift. Him. And Mami appreciated God for that moment, saying, Indeed, He's given me something. And the lady started telling me, say, and you see, Kwama, so in a film, I know so many confirmations from some of the members over there. Some so many series of revelations, and then they are also confused about it. So you, you but, they are, but they are still going there, right? Some of so them, they are, some they of are, the places, they are there. But some of the places, one, sometimes is God taking you there to learn something. Number two, most of them are being tied up. You know some what is going on is wrong. But some of you some of you leave and they still go back. Because I'm they are so they can just release like you holding a chain onto a, a, a dog's neck. You can leave it and to, to smell around uh, when it's trying to go far, you pull it back to yourself again. So some of them are in that uh, entanglement. And I pray say may the Lord be tangled them. So you see. But if I come and if I mention a person's name, you say, Oh no, please, what are you telling? What are you saying? What is that? Ah, this man, look at how humble he is. Oh, look at him, so quiet. 
so decent. So please don't be deceived by the appearance. Pray about even us. Pray about us. Me, just go to God and pray to God. Say, God, who are these people? Are they from you? And let God talk to you. If God say we are not from him, take whatever thing that he has told you. If he says we are from him, just take it like that. Me dear, we know that we are from the Lord. That is what we know. I pray, say, me ready, my familiar spirit, be a be dear, 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 Yes. And mom, because you know, some of the enemy can just take their face oh, yeah. and then be misbehaving. That is true. That is so true. I just pray, say, so God will show you, you will not allow the familiar spirits come and show you things, but he should show you the real thing that you And then confirm it. Uh, whenever God reveals something to you, you need to confirm. Yeah. Today we're yeah. praying with a brother and a sister, and then God has said something concerning their so, marriage to so, us. So, I know you say what you were even doing on the phone. Now, me, now I'm saying, like God is, is telling you this. But since you say you're waiting for confirmation, yeah. let's give you confirmation. So you're waiting for. I was just like, it was just funny. Now, me, I say, I'm saying, say, ah, God is talking to us. Why are we just, you know, feeling that way? But whichever way, what He wants is what yeah. He will do. So that, that is one thing I want everybody to know. Um, 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 in, in any prayer that you pray to God, when God reveals it to you, ask for confirmation. Because this is this is the this brother. When we tell you the story, you will understand it. Uh, but God has given us the confirmation. But we want a third party to come in. To come in. Or God should reveal it to them in a way that they will personally understand it. So that we will do the will of God. We are not here to satisfy man. Not because... I'm not married. This is not married. So we feel like, oh, then let them let's join them together. No, it's not mm -hmm. like that. It's the will of God. If it is the will of God, we will not listen to anybody. So maybe some people don't understand that these people they preach about holiness, but they prophesy, they do this. We don't like maybe you don't understand it. That is why whenever you go to some platform, you don't understand whatever they are doing. You pray about it. Don't don't make comment or don't think of anything. Because we are not here just to satisfy anybody. If we are here to satisfy man, then we don't deserve to be servant of god hallelujah Amen. we are here to serve god and we will do his work and we will try as much as possible and if god said we should say it we'll say it hallelujah Amen. so god bless you let's learn that thing praise Amen. the lord i've told anybody who has been following me that if you want to marry god will grant it to you for marriage oh I, i've told you just adopt everything we do assume that you are with us be part of our programs and God will weigh your heart and grant you your heart desires because we are not chosen by ourselves. And we don't need any God. Though. People even say, say, Abroche is second heaven. What do we need again? If I don't work, the government, government will take care of me. I will, I'm off. What is it again? What do I need? I can choose not to come to Ghana again. The only thing you have to do is to lie. Just lie. Yes. About you are going yes. to do. But because it's not my calling, it is the calling of God. So I, I don't have anything to say like, God, I won't do it. So we are not here to deceive you, my brother, my sister. We are here to tell you the gospel for that to save your soul. I'm just, uh -huh. So are you done with whatever you were saying? So what I was saying is that you pray about whatever church you want to attend. Please, it's very necessary. And when God reveals something to you and you don't understand, ask him to explain it to you, to give you more. Because sometimes, usually God speaks in parables. And then we don't seem to understand him. But if you ask him for understanding and wisdom, he's going to grant it to you. So I urge everybody, please, me, I went to church that I, they almost killed me. First one, I didn't listen. I thought it was, I was serving God. Not knowing, it wasn't God that I was serving. I was doing my own thing. After that, I still went to another church. And that church was even bombed than the first one that I went. Not that they are all passionate in, the, in darkness. Now, you say something, you can you believe, sir? It got to a point, sir, in, even in a dream. The Lord will let me meet them, man. And they were so cool now. No, I said, Tatek James, not a great if you don't know. So one time, the Lord made me meet one of them, and then I said, Well, who shall I answer yourself? I saw him on the show. Look at the church members come and look at you. Look at in the night, you are wearing Tatek James and you have a cigarette on your mouth. You are smoking. But in the morning, you are a pastor. You see, like, it's funny. But I pray, say, may the Lord have mercy on uh, uh, All I'll tell us is that let us pray about our church. Wherever, but whoever you are listening to, please pray about them. And please make sure, say, whatever thing they are saying is in line with the word of God. Don't just jump into any church. I beg. I yeah. plead with you. From yeah. my personal experience, 
save yourself that stress. Otherwise, you think you are going to look for miracles. You think you are going to look for um, God's blessings. Yes. You are rather going to tie up the ones that you have. You are going to exchange your, your glory for many things. Please. So if you study that, those who go to those churches, eh, when they are going, they are very little. But at the end, they'll become like a slave to the pastor. And things like they have nothing. And then they'll end up in zero. Please, pray about your church very well. And let the Lord lead you. If the Lord gives you a go ahead to go, you are free to go. Nobody's going to hold on to you. But please, pray about it. Let the Lord lead you. Amen and amen. Mami Adimia, just write something down. Read it. Read it for people to Someone understand. Someone ask me, you said your pastor is holiness pastor. Why is he prophesying to people? The fact that somebody is a holiness pastor doesn't mean they cannot prophesy. <laughs> I'm saying this to the glory of God. If I call you on the phone, I always tell one sister of mine. Immediately I start talking to you, then the Lord will be telling me things about you. So like maybe the ones that are important, I just bring it up like I flash it up like that. So I've been telling my sister, I tell her, I say, God is telling me so much about you, but if I don't control it, it's going to be like every day you and my call is prophecy, prophecy. No. The gift is, is there. He has given it unto us freely. And one thing he told me, I see he gave it to me and nobody can take it away from me. So I, so I think so because sometimes I complain to you, so, so for, like immediately you start, I start talking to somebody, then it will just be flowing. If I want to focus on the names I'm seeing, I'm going to just talk about The Lord is just going to use me to talk about people, sir. I'm not sure say we'll preach him for. If the fact that we are practicing holiness, now that's the thing who is it for? It's for God. The only thing is that the enemy also has his own, but the real gifting is from God. So what makes you think that holiness pastor cannot prophesy? You, they, we, you, they can even prophesy the best than whatever pastor that you are thinking about because the gifting is of the Lord. So as I'm saying, if I want to pay attention to the names, the kind of thing the Lord is going to make me say, it's just going to be like prophecy, prophecy, prophecy. Meanwhile, we are here to preach the word of God. So here, quite rather go and make me control it. Some people cannot even control it at all. So please, some of you tell the pastor that, and tell the person that, and um, the prophecy, the prophetic gifts is from God. Apostle Paul, Peter, and all those people, they hear the sick. The Bible says that, and Jesus Christ gave them power and authority against all unclean spirits to cast them out, to heal all manner of sicknesses and all manner of diseases. So it was part of it. So when they came back and they were told, they were happy about people, they being able to see things. Jesus Christ told them, said they shouldn't be comfortable because they are able to see this and cast out things, but rather they should be happy, said their names are written in the book of life. So it is part of the gift. And if it is not part of their holiness and it's not part of God's work, I don't think so God will give it. God would have spoken against it. So that is the little thing that stuff I can add. I don't know if you want to say something. Yes, yes. So that is an error in many, in many, uh, in, a, in many Christians. And God is going to judge everybody according hey. to things that we don't know when we say. So for, uh -huh. that is story is serious. Is that what? I used to to look for help for, uh, from prophecy people, so they will give me something for bathing and mixing food. The time I will think of using them, my heart beat so fast and my hands start shaking until I decided to throw them away. Then I became normal until I believed that Jesus is Lord. Then I stopped going to them. <laughs> I stopped going to them. Thank God for saving my life from those prophets. Hey, madam, madam, glad to see your, your motive was so strong, but you know, you wanted to bath and cast up. <laughs> wow, glory be to God. Hmm. Praise so, the Lord. Hallelujah. So, what, Mama? There, there's a reason people, many Christians are blind. They think because you preach about holiness, there's no need for you to. <laughs> if God has given you spiritual gifts, Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. uh, you should not use it. I don't know. They, they you, because they have not asked God. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. If you ask God. He will grant it to you. Mm. Hallelujah. Amen. God, when you read the scripture, the Bible talks about spiritual giftings. Hallelujah. Amen. So, so please, if you are here, and maybe you are holiness, uh, holiness, <laughs> uh, you attend a church, a holiness church, and you hear somebody prophesy, or somebody seeing vision do you believe those things 
Like if your pastor prophesied that this is what I've seen. Husband mm -hmm. <laughs> does not mean that don't prophesy. Hallelujah. We don't count ourselves that we are prophets. And we claim that, oh, I can't see anything. No. When God do not give it to you, you can't say it. Hallelujah. Amen. So please, if you don't know, I want you to know that the fact that God has given us that gift, it has not make we are, we are not saying that we are superior, but we want everybody to know that it's only God who gives that gift. Hallelujah. So, Mami Jenna, let's read something from First Corinthians chapter 12. So that everybody will know that whatever we are doing here is coming from the Bible. Before we first Corinthians chapter 12. First Corinthians chapter 12. Let's hear the word of God. He said that, Now concerning spiritual giftings, brothers, I do not want you to be uninformed. So many people are uninformed. Many people are uninformed. They think that uh, because maybe initial... Hey, what are you doing? Come get up from here. Many people think that so far as you preach about Christ, you preach about Jesus Christ is coming. There's no need... When God reveals something to you concerning someone, you should say it. Or there's no need for you to pray for someone to get married or to even travel. It is an error. May God forgive them for they don't know. Hallelujah. May God forgive them for they don't know. Because only God can give spiritual believings. Hallelujah. Okay, brother George is saying something. My, my classmate too. He said, I never believe it until you once prophesy about me. Man of God, what did I say? hallelujah my brother what did i say so anybody who's on this platform i want you to know so for us we preach the truth does not prevent us from saying what god has revealed to us spiritual giftings are from god praise the lord and it is true that those in the world some pastors claim that they can see everything and tell you everything we, we don't claim like that we are not god we are just mere mortals the giftings are there god said that now concerning spiritual giftings brothers I do not want you to be uniform. You know that when you were pagans, you were led astray to mute idols. Hallelujah. However, you were led. Therefore, I want you to understand that no one speaking in the spirit of God ever said Jesus is a curse. And no one can say Jesus is a Lord except in the Holy Spirit. Praise the Lord. Now, there are varieties of gifts, but the same spirit. There are varieties of gifts in the Bible. So maybe when you join me, and by the grace of God, you see me prophesying. Or praying for people to uh praying to heal people when God used me. It doesn't mean that I'm not from God. Prophecy is not for Satan, it is for God's children. Hallelujah. Prophecy is for God's children, and even church of Pentecost, they are prophets there. Hallelujah. But everywhere they are prophets. So please, we are not prophets. Me, I'm not I call, I don't call myself a prophet, but if you call me that. I will not say you are lying. Me, I call myself. I know a name, a name God gave me, but I don't want to be using that. Other people will think that my mom is also. So I call myself God's servant because I serve God. But and then God has given me a lot of things in my dreams. That this, this is what I want you to do. This is the gifting I'm giving to you. Okay, so my brother. My brother George, he's my classmate. He said he, he, he never believed me until I told him that something and that thing came to pass. And I was asking, he said, you told me I'll get a minor job and through that, God will open a big way for me. And it has happened. Hallelujah. It is not me. So me, the prophecy I, I say, when you call me back, I don't even remember. It just came. And not everything. Sometimes when I, came, when I come here, I even wish that I can prophesy to you. But God, if God has not given to me, I can't say it. Praise the Lord. And anybody on this platform, 90%, because I'm not God, 90% of, 99% uh, of anybody watching me, if God has used me to say something to you, it will surely come to pass. Because it's not me. And if I lie, then I'm not a child of God. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So the Bible talks about spiritual gifts. It said that now there are varieties of gift by the same spirit and there are varieties of services by the same lord so if you are preacher if you're pastor always preach about salvation that prepare for heaven it doesn't mean that if there's spiritual if every church any doctrine some church says that for us 
We want to depend only on the Bible. We don't want any gifts. That is their making. And anybody who is having a gift in that church, if you don't use it, God will judge you. Whenever God gives you spiritual gifts, yes, and you don't use it, we will take it from you. But on the judgment day, you will give account to God why you do not use the spiritual gifts He gave you. He gave to you. Praise the Lord. So I want to encourage you. Don't think that even everybody is in holiness or is practicing holiness. Or you see that he preached about the true word of God and he prophesied means that that person has diverted. It's a gift God has given to us and we can't hide it. I was there. God came into my dream and then told me that somebody is very sick. So call him. Call him right now. I just wake up and I, I call the person. And God told me, call him him and pray for him the person said that when i called himself papa my daughter is very sick i am in ghana i'm taking him from we are in ambulance we are we are moving from uh, he mentioned the town to kumase to uh we are call ambulance so the ambulance are come for her so we are on the way to uh is it g god said pray for her he said my my daughter cannot eat she cannot talk i prayed for her before that god has showed me that i prayed for someone who was dying and the person by the grace of god by the grace of god god wake that person up hallelujah Amen. so i called him i prayed for her and by the grace of god immediately i prayed for her after me the, the mother said man of god she can't even drink a drop of water i said no you just give him give her a drop of the water after 10 after 10 minutes so man of god now my daughter is sitting she's not talking she's doing everything i said it's not me it's god he called me to pray for you so if God has given me such a gift, will I come and preach alone and go, okay, okay? No, I have that gift. If anybody is sick, and God said, my son, I'll give you that gift tonight. I want to pray for the sick. The moment I pray, God will perform his work. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't mean that as far as I'm praying for the sick, or God is using me to prophesy. It, 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 I, I am not, I'm not, I, I'm not worshiping God's word. If you don't read your Bible, you talk that way. But this is the Bible, First Corinthians chapter 12. Hallelujah. And the Bible even started warning us that yes people have been using idols to prophesy people have been using according to prophesy but the gifts are there and it's from the holy spirit praise the lord he said now there are varieties of gifts by the same spirit and the varieties of service by the same lord and there are varieties of activities praise the lord he said that and there are varieties of activities. But it is the same God who empowers them all in everyone. To each, it is given a manifestation of spirit for the common good. For to, for to one another, through the spirit of utterances of wisdom. Hallelujah. And to another, utterances of knowledge, according to the same spirit. To another, faith, by the same spirit. To another, gift of healing. Hallelujah. By, by the one spirit. To another, the working miracles. To another, prophecy. Hallelujah. So this is not for the world. And that's all for moon free name. Many people think that Obi up or shan come be free name. A software I see a church that you manu about heaven. And after the yes shan come. You don't know what you are saying. Maybe today is your first time. That is why we <laughs> preach the truth and we tell you. Even when we God used us to say something to you, we tell you something. And you don't worship God. It will never come to pass. It may not come to pass. Hallelujah. So if some if someone of God has been doing prophecy alone every day, we are not like that. We are not copying from anybody. Hallelujah. So please, don't think that so far as we preach about the true word of God and God has given us the gift to prophesy, we should not use it. God has given us the gift. Some everybody, Somebody is a good teacher. If your pastor can teach you very well, hallelujah, I said from the Holy Spirit. So if he, if he can preach and he cannot prophesy, it doesn't mean that if anybody can preach and pro prophesy, it's not it's, it's not working for God. Hallelujah. Because if you talk against any spirit God has given to me and it's from God, you are talking against the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. And you are blaspheming and God will punish you. And it means to if I am prophesying and it's not from God, God will punish me. I'm not saying that let's all watch to the end and we all see. But the Bible says that by their fruit, it shall know them. Hallelujah. So if you see the fruit that I'm bearing, that I'm telling you, bring me money for me to prophesy for you. 
When I prophesy, I say, God say, come and bless me. Bless me with seed. Before your things, then you know this man is coming from somewhere. When I, God used me and I tell you that, go and buy spray. Let me, let me, uh, or I'm selling spray, or I'm selling some. That's why you know this man of God has diverted. But we preach the truth. And if God reveals something to us, we also tell you, it doesn't mean that uh, we are not from God. And it's in the Bible. Hallelujah. So please, if your pastor can only preach, we thank God. If you can only, only uh, uh, some of them at the church, they will see visions. They are all gifts of God. Hallelujah. My main kind tree in Unetias here. Hallelujah. Let me read the tree. Sister Hedi, God bless you. Let me read the tree. I say, Nadia, follow him from Asamodia. And you are not a person, maybe you are a bit see him. When you say, I can't, and I'm going to have some for Namuna Muma, what did Mufa or Kambiara so called Abu Sumunche? And to Mary Mamma, who said, O Biara or Nam Yankupa Mukasano, free yes to Abusia dear. No Biara unto me, free yes to Eradi, this I won't conclude. Now, too much idea Guahodu, and now so I would do Kukuno Ara. Na or soon you manu su guahodo, now so radicrono ara. Na jumadian su guahodo, now so yanko pankruana, or did you manage in our own yenemo. Now so a mamma humno, yeni hum, eddy one mubialemo. na aye ye. na one namu humno summa obi and yansakasa. So somebody can preach and you say, This man have wisdom. It's a gift of God. Praise the Lord. It's a gift of God. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And then he said that now so my own new in the I say of who from so what I say now one woman so what and as a casa will be so what my name dear castle will be so what name dear or name name dear Bible mo it doesn't mean that I'm not name name dear no and only me as a casa no he's the only person from God no prophecies in the Bible so if your pastor is not prophesying and he always teach you about salvation he has not nothing wrong that is the way you want to choose and nothing he has not sinned and if I, I choose to preach about salvation and when god show me something i tell you or when god give me the power and i pray for you and it come to pass it doesn't mean that it doesn't mean that i'm not from god because the apostles did what we are doing they did even more than what god has been using us to do Hallelujah. So please, if so please, if you can hear me, don't allow anybody to deceive you. That so far as we preach and we are in the end time, we should not use the gift things God has given to us. And come be a hallelujah. Maybe your pastor can do that, but he has chosen that media. I'm not going to do prophecy. He has done nothing wrong. On the judgment day, he will give account to God why the spiritual giftings was given to him and he decided not to use it. Hallelujah. That is why God has given us the mouth to speak. That is why we always come here. So that when God comes and I, when we are about to give account to God, we will be able to tell God that God, he gave me the gift to preach, to evangelize. I've been doing it. He gave me the gift to heal. I heal. God used me to heal. I use it. He gave me the gift to prophesy. Whenever you show me something, I say it so that I will not be. And even if God wants to give me all the gifts, I will take it by force. And I wish I, God has given me all the gifts. I wish all the all the spiritual gifts is God has handed over to me. That is my wish. God, grant it. Let them know that you granted it to me. Give it to me. I want all the gifts. When I talk, we will say, This man have the word, though. That is one thing. Hallelujah. So. Mama Vida was saying something. She said, Me, my heart is at rest since I came to join you. I have been with so many prophets, but you are different. Thanks, God Almighty. Amen. 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 So we thank Almighty God for everything that He is doing for us. So, child of God, don't be deceived and don't be worried. 
If your pastor cannot prophesy and somebody is doing that, don't think that that person is not from God. Hallelujah. And I'm not saying all prophets are from God. Some are not from God. And not, and not all teachers too are from God. Hallelujah. So how will you know? It's by their fruit and you pray about them. That is why we initially we told you that anybody you follow, pray about them. Praise the Lord. Pray about them. Don't just follow them. Praise the Lord. South Africa, God bless you. God bless you. Hallelujah. So, Mami Janet, I also want to use this one. You know, some people have been saying that they are one body, as the Bible just said it. Hallelujah. Amen. But there's no way that body, the Bible said that one of one also was given a gift <laughs> to preach about prosperity. Hallelujah. Amen. <laughs> Praise the Lord. I didn't, I didn't, when, once I was reading it, I didn't see the gift of prophecy, uh, 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 prosperity in it. Praise the Lord. I'm a comforter. We are pleased. How are you doing? God, Richard, bless you so much. Praise the Lord. I didn't see the gift of prosperity. We will not preach about prosperity, and prosperity is good as a child of God. You don't need to beg, you don't need to beg before you eat hallelujah but please don't make it your goal that you follow prophet and if your pastor is a prophet it doesn't mean that he's sinning but if his prophecy is from god the only thing is that as a prophet whatever you say your children they will take it rather than even the teacher yes because god has revealed something concerning you to him so whatever you say he will understand it Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. <laughs> yes, Mama Linda said exactly. No, Papa, no gift of pro prosperity. <laughs> yes, I didn't see it yet. <laughs> Praise the Lord. <laughs> we thank God. We thank God. So, children of God. If you have any question, you can ask. Hallelujah. If you have any question you would like to ask, kindly ask. Praise the Lord. Any question you want to ask, you can ask. So we we have few we have we have about 30 minutes to go. But um, I want us to um I think for the past days that Mami Jenna has been coming here, we have been <laughs> Praise the Lord. So, child of God, we were learning how and why God allows us to pass through tribulations and then persecutions. Yes, you are the entire of Christoni. I found how near Maniani or Yaum, a Radema or Kamaya Femu. Obu or Nim the entire and Bayare. Obu or Nim the entire or Tiffy. Obu or Nim the entire and Awaria Bassa. Obu or Nim the entire. Ontimi, Ontimi, worry basin. Obu or Nim the entire. The sick as my Bassa. Now, so say, I miss any ban in China. Minaman in Abbey. We have been learning about those things so we are learning about the entire why god allowed christians to pass through trials tribulations persecutions and, and everything and we have said that we, we have learned a lot we are not done yet i told you that i have about, about 25 reason, uh, reasons why god allow us so we we said that sometimes we suffer because of our own past mistakes hallelujah hallelujah sometimes the reason why we are suffering is because of our own past mistake. So if, if you choose a partner without consulting God, maybe someone recommended 
send someone for you. The last time I tell you, I have a sister. Eh? Do you know what happened to this sister? Somebody recommended a man for him to marry. She married the man. My dear, do you know that for the past seven years, the man have not had sex with that man's sister? He said that even the very first day they got married, the man said that, for me, I'm a man of God. I, I, I fear God. We will not have sex. We will have sex after marriage. But before marriage, we will not have sex. Be careful, though. If you have got a man who said, for me, I don't want to have sex with you until I got married to you. It is a good thing, but be vigilant. Any child of God who have sex before marriage, you have problem in your marriages. Please get it straight from me. Any child of God who have sex with his, uh, his boyfriend or girlfriend before they enter into marriage, the moment you marry, you have problem. You have disagreement and fight in your marriages. It is conk, automatic. Hallelujah. So if you are having a man who is demanding for sex before he marry you, don't think that you are on a good way. Pray for him or pray for the direction of God. If you are having sex with your boyfriend or your partner and you are not married, it is an abomination. When I hear men of God who preach about relationship, about courtes, about how to court, he said, how to stay, how, how, why many relationships are not working. I don't know what the man of God is standing to pray. You should pray and let them know that relationship cannot help. It doesn't matter how you dress or how we change the person. It doesn't matter how many makeups you make. If your man is not your real man from God, your marriage will never work. You can, you can marry for 20 years, 50 years, but when you read the age of 70, you will you leave. You break up because that marriage is not from God. Praise the Lord. So please, in the marriage, so that one of the reasons why Christians are suffering, and it's a man of God. I have served God for about five years. I pay my tithe. I go to church every Sunday. I love God. I don't dress anyhow. I dress decently. I fear God. I read my Bible. I do fasting. But still, my, my husband does not understand me. But still, I'm not married. It is not because of anything. It's because of your past mistakes. So sometimes, it's not everything that is the will of God. Sometimes, you have done with your own will. And that is why the Bible said that there are ways. That seems right in the sight of God. But the end, eh? the end is dead. So that is why, how will you know the way? It's by calling on God that God show me the way. Praise the Lord. So many of you, you are struggling in life now because of your own decision. I am one of them. You are one of them. Some lady cannot give birth now. You know why? Because previously she has done many abortions. And she, she thought that the moment she has taken Christ as his or her Lord personal savior, Christ should manufacture the babies for her. So whenever she prays, she prays with arrogance. She doesn't show any remorse or she doesn't humble herself she said that god i follow you have i followed you for the past two years so give me my husband or else you are not god so when she don't see anything coming now she will say that oh let me go back to the world even when i was in the world i was enjoying my sister you go and satan will allow you to enjoy but your end will be bitter your end may be bitter unless you repent so sometimes we cause our own trouble. Some, some, mother, some mother is here. Some parent is here. She did not pray about the school that the son is going. She wants the son to be at a better school. She never prayed about it too. Everybody is going to Pojos. So she is also going to Pojos. She wants her son or her daughter to go to Pojos. But she wants her son or her daughter to go to this university. But she never prayed about it because the university have a name. She just, she just, uh, 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 she just chose that university for for the son, and that is where he's going to meet the girl, the lady that would that would destroy your son, the life of your son, the destiny, because the enemy wanted her, wanted your son, wanted him, but he has tried many ways. Your prayer has been preventing her to come closer to your daughter, your son. So, okay, you are going to invest in there. We have agents there. Satan has agents at every place. Oh. 
That is why that, that when you are going to hire a room, rent a room, you pray about it. Your family members may be seeking for you. They may be hunting you, but you are praying, they can't get you. So when you say, oh, I've got an apartment here without praying the Lord, I need an apartment. Please lead me wherever you want me to go. Maybe God may not reveal it to you, but you tell God, God, lead me. He will lead you. But unfortunately, if you don't do that and you go rent an apartment, where the person who built this apartment was having a covenant with Satan and was even a freemason, and you go and sit in that house, you are doomed. If you don't take it, they may even sacrifice your children. And somebody may not may say that, ah, since the first time I, I stay in this apartment, I've never seen any goodness. It's because you do not pray about it. So when such a, pro when such a problem comes, you don't, don't blame God, but you accept and say, God, I have sinned, I have wronged you. Please have mercy. But you pray pridefully. God, why are you doing this to me? What kind of God you are? You have disappointed me. God, I'm disappointed even in you. Hallelujah. May God have mercy on us. Sometimes too, God wants want us to pass through what he passed through. So, beloved, I want you to know that we must all be vigilant and know how we talk to God. Hallelujah. Somebody got an American connection. The moment he got the connection, the moment he got the connection that day, somebody said there's a connection to America. Hallelujah. He did not pray about it. And then maybe that person travel. He will come and we hear him that he has shot someone in America. He was a Ghanaian or he was from Angola. We say, oh, why, 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 why? Maybe in the book of God, he was not to go at that time. There's a special time God had prepared for her. But because he or she did not ask God, and she said, everybody is traveling to America, so let me go there. But she is going there to face death. Child of God, sometimes we go through trials, tribulations, because of our own mistakes. And I've been telling you, if you know Paul, what all what Paul did was hunting back to him. So sometimes we go into trial tribulation because of because the Bible said that whatever you throw on the wall, it will come back to you. So your past it will come back to you. So if you cheated on somebody, if we're having an affair with someone's husband, the moment you marry your husband too, Satan also let your husband do something. That is not where you said that I'm not going to marry again. I will leave my husband. I will leave my wife. No. But you pray for God intervention. Hallelujah. Sometimes, it's not always so. Please don't, it's not all situations are like that. But I want you to know that the reason why sometimes God allows us to pass through trials and tribulations is because sometimes it's because of our own past mistakes. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So, please, any situation you are passing through, hey, let me tell you, if sometimes you give your situation to God, you go and something bad will happen. Let me tell you, God has never forsaken you. He's not a God of liar. It, is, it will come, but maybe it will delay for some time so that you see the glory of God. Hallelujah. It doesn't mean that you did not pray so uh, uh, because something has happened. God lied. No. Sometimes there was a bigger problem that I wanted to encounter. Even Jesus Christ, when he fasted for 40 days, Satan tried to tempt him. Tempt. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. But he couldn't. So there are reasons why we pass through tribulations, oh. we pass through trials. So look at my sister now. She has married someone through someone recommend rec recommendation. Hallelujah. The man did not have sex with hell before their marriage. And he said that the very day they married, the man never slept with her in the bedroom. The man was sleeping at the hall. And she was finding it difficult to even tell anybody because, ah, now, so it was very, so one day, then one day he forced the man. So they are married for, I think this year is the eighth year. 
They have asked us only once. She forced the man, she raped the man. <laughs> and that didn't help him to have a baby. Hallelujah. Amen. So look at that. So this time, what did she need to do? She need to pray for the mercy of God. God, I didn't know. I am sorry. If we leave the marriage, you have break the law of marriage until the man dies. And the man does not care who. This is a man of God. When I go to the house, the man is not there. When I'm there, the man will sleep at the hall, and I will sleep in my in my bedroom, in the bedroom. So she's now married to the, the 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 baby, the child, because the man does not even talk to him. Like my dear sister. So please, situations. Some the reason why some of us are suffering in our life, or God allowed. So now that maybe you have no God, and we have seen that oh, I should have asked God. You don't have to always blame God, but you rather you rather plead for the mercy of God. That Lord, please have mercy on me. I know I have sinned. I can't take it anymore, Master. I beg you, intercede for me. You say you came to die for we are sinners. I know I have sinned. I accept it. Lord, be merciful to me. And then God will know that you there is okay. You have suffered enough. I am coming to help you. Hallelujah. And we send his angels to come and support you. So, beloved, the reason why sometimes we go through trials and tribulations, hey, let me tell you, we all of us, we have attended churches. If I tell you what I have passed through and what I'm even passing through, you don't understand. We follow signs and wonders and we went to a man of God and some of them were not from God. And even, why, now that we know God, this is the time that they are attacking us. That why have you left my church? That I need you now. That I will disgrace you. They will make vows this month. You will never succeed in life because you left my church. So when such a thing comes, I shouldn't blame God because I went to the church without consulting God. That is why we always advise anybody who listen to us that please, if even you are listening to us, pray about us. We there, we know where we are coming from. That it is God who has called us. But we are not here to tell you that we are genuine. We are better than anybody by your by our fruit. You know us, and when you pray about it, you know us. That is why we have been pleading. If not if the church is even holiness or not holiness church pray about it some people are destined to be in that church where they don't even do the things of god but god have a mission for you at that church you don't have to say you are going we beg you please i beg you i beg you Thank you That's so me, let me tell you what a revelation god gave me i saw myself at a place listen to me child of god i saw myself at the church hallelujah Amen. and even that church i was not attending to that church i saw myself at that church that was when god was calling me to do his work and then i found myself that there was a lot of people sitting on a glass so i found myself that i was wearing white white and something told something told me that just look at the ground and I watched the ground. It was like, I don't know how to describe it. It was so bad. When in language, when in Ghana, I'll tell you, I used to say, you know, uh, uh, green, green, you know, like when you bath at the back, uh, when you go to the bridge, Apo, that's where you can see that. Apo 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 the it was all it's over the, the, it was all in a glass. And, then there was, and I saw people sitting in the glass. And I told them, why are you sitting there? They said, sit down, sit down. Man of God is coming. So when the man was coming on the stage, everybody sat on the on the glass. Hallelujah. Amen. And the glass was so dirty. Do you know what happened? When the man came and then climbed uh, uh, the platform and then started speaking, then I saw that it was raining, but the rain was black. And I told them that, ah, and we're sitting in this. I can't stay here. So even when the man said, I bless you, it is a curse. Hallelujah. And I told them that for me, for me today, I'm living here. And I saw that they had packed a car for me. So I went and sit in my car and left the church. And many people, millions of people were there. So tell of God, the church that you are attending is very important too. If the pastor you are following is not from God. Some of you said, I was born into that church. Oh, hey, I saw you were there. Hey, I'm sorry. Roman, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I said, where you are, without praying about it, you face your own consequences. And you come and stay in your room and blame God. I don't even understand it. Some, 
Some texts are, are from God, though. but that is not where God wants you to be. I'm not saying that all churches are not from God, or my, my church is solely, or I am the only rightful person. No. We have many and great, great, great Christians on this earth. But pray about your church. Pray about the man of God you see. You, uh, you tell or, or the man, your, your pastor, pray about him. You know, because the man pastor, God can prophesy, tell you about your name, and tell you secrets, or God has even used him to prophesy and has come to pass before you know that is from God. Please, my dear, it's very important to hallelujah. We will the church that we are attending, we prayed about it, and God revealed it to us. Hallelujah. Yeah. So it is God who judges us. It is not man. So I will not allow any man to come and tell me, say, this or that. You can say whatever you want to say. But the same God who revealed to me that go to this church, I'm still praying to him, God. If that church wants me to live there, let me know. The moment he tells me, it doesn't matter whatever anybody has done for me. I will obey the command of God, not man. So don't allow anybody to deceive you. But many people, they look at signs and wonders. They look at how the person talk, how the person dress. They look at how long, long that person has been in existence. You, you are joking with your life. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So, beloved, sometimes it's not the very first day Sometimes not the very first day God will reveal that thing to you. Sometimes it takes time. Some church, the moment you enter there, you will see that your spirit has not yet to be there. Live there. Oh. I saw you will say, you don't feel okay. You feel like, I oh, know, you don't feel good. Live there. The spirit is telling you, I don't want this place. Put this one in Gali Mani. Forgive me, buddy. I couldn't even mention your name more. He said, I had a nightmare after attending the church without consulting God. Have mercy on me, oh God. You see? You see, that's what Abada is saying. He has a nightmare after attending, after attending a church without consulting God. <laughs> Beloved, I want to encourage you. It's not every church that, that is from God. It doesn't matter the name the, the man of God have. It doesn't matter how he can prophesy, how he can preach. But there's one thing I want you to know. In everything that you do, ask God. So some people are fighting in life because they do not consult God. They thought that, oh, I am very handsome. This is the man I want to marry. What prevents me? Hallelujah. They thought that, oh, I am a good man. I have gone to school. Let me work at any place. But you go to that workplace and somebody will poison you there. Because it's not ask God. You go to a workplace and the supervisor will never allow, will never allow you to enjoy your work. Because it's not ask God. Because you think you have been yearning for job and then you don't get job. So, so far as you have heard some, something, you are going there. No, please. We in the Christ, we in Christ. We don't have to do anything according to our will. We have to deny our, our will and give the will to God. So ask God, God, I am I'm going for an interview. If it is your will, let me get this job. If you don't have will, don't, don't allow me to get it. If it is the will of God and you go and you don't get it, come home because you are prayed. Maybe God will not reveal it to you that it is from me or it is from it's not from me but the outcome will let you know okay this is the will of god because you are giving your will to god praise the lord so it's not that any time god will come and reveal something to you in your dream sometimes you the other fashion running you just handle the case to god and the outcome will let you know that if god has approved it or not sometimes you need to fast praise the lord Hallelujah. can you continue God bless us so much for listening. And then what Shafu is saying is very, very necessary. That wherever you go, you have to pray and find no, out no, 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 what you Sometimes he will not give you the approval, but sometimes the sign that you ask for is what he's going to tell you whether he wanted you to do it or not. But in all, you still have to con commit it into his hands and then he, the Lord, will lead you. Shafu, do you want to come in now? Okay. Okay. So sometimes the situation that we, we go in, we go in because God wants us to learn something. 
So now I want us to talk about past mistakes. Is that that we go into situation without consulting God? So somebody will do a business, eh? And the business will never prosper. Said, ah, I've invested a lot in this business. But he will come and say, God, I pay my title. God, I do everything. But my business is still not flourishing. It is not the cost of God. It's because we do not allow God to choose the right business for you. Please, if you want to do any business, if you pray God is not giving you answer, pray and do fasting. Hallelujah. And God will reveal it to you. Any business you want to do on this set, if you want, when you want to sell ice water, Mama Yamama Robert, thank you for the stars. God richly bless you so much. Even if you sell, you want to sell ice water, pray and commit that business with the hands of God. Just choose one day today. I will not ask God for my my marriage or anything. I'm going to pray and ask God for my work, the job that I want to do. Pray, do fasting. God, please reveal it to me. Oh, you say anything I do, I should ask you. I stand upon your word. Matthew 7, 7, ask it shall be given unto you. Father, I want to enter into a new business. Which type of business should I do? You pray. You pray. If you know any man of God, man of God, this is my case. I want you also to remember me. I want to do this. So remember me in my prayer. Then a man of God will say, okay, then let's do this day. Then you join him. You pray. And God will reveal it to you. Hallelujah. Amen. But many a time we don't do that. Many a time we use our own discretion to enter into business, to do whatever we are doing. I beg you, let's all be vigilant. Not all that greatness is good. Hallelujah. So please, in a situation you find yourself in now, so I just want you to you know that's the reason why. Some of the reason are so the last time I read about Hosea chapter 4, verse 6. I would say that my people are destroyed from lack of knowledge. Because you have rejected knowledge, I also rejected you as my peace. Because you have ignored the law of God, I also ignore your children. So some people, even your pastor has been ignored by God. But you don't know. Hallelujah. Amen. And another one too. Another, another reason why God allows us to pass through trust and to believe. Today I want to bring another one, uh, a new topic that we want to discuss i think we have talked about god discipline us sometimes god wants to discipline that's why he allows us to go to uh try and tribulation hallelujah mm. sometimes so god wants to promote you hallelujah mm. sometimes god wants to promote you and satan will not allow you to become to to become what god wants you to become so he also try hallelujah so mm. those are some of the reason why let me let me let me also go to another point so I think that the last time we talked about one of the reasons why to God allow us to go to Christ and tribulation is that so that we can shine in the suffering of God. I think the last time I explained, I also explained that one. And I'm getting a bit more. Yes. And now we talk about we be, be like Christ, growing and be like Christ. Have I, have I talked about no. that? So sometimes God allow us, uh, it helps us to grow as believers and become more like, like Christ. Hallelujah. Oh, yeah. Amen. Let's read something from Proverbs chapter 8, verse 2. Uh, Romans chapter 8, verse 2. I'm getting, can you read Romans chapter 8, verse 2 for me? Okay. So if I join now, please share the link. Please share the link. Hallelujah. Amen. Please, we are learning the reason why God allows us to pass through trials and tribulations. Praise the Lord. Amen. So somebody okay. is now a, 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 an elder, my sister. The, one of the past mistakes. There's a lot of past mistakes that we are. He was having multiple sex partners, and unfortunately, he contracted HIV. Now he has become a child of God. He do everything. He preach. People are he's winning souls for God, but he or she is still having the HIV in his blood cell, and he's still counting on God. God, you have disappointed me. I have served you for twenty years, but still, I'm having the HIV. It is because you caused it by yourself. You need to still plead for the mercy. So the day that God finds it in no way that oh. My son has served me right. I am I, I, I am healing him from his or her problem. Hallelujah. My sister, read it for me. Okay. Um, Romans chapter 8, verse 2, right? Yeah. Okay. For the law of the spirit of life has set you free in Christ Jesus from the law of sin and death. For God... Should I please continue? Yeah, when you read it, it will be... It will be... Uh, we'll come to 29. 29. 
Okay. For those whom he foreknew, he also predestined to be comforted to the image of, the, of his son, in order that he might be the firstborn among many brothers. Amen and amen. So trials and tribulations and problems, sometimes it, it tends to squeeze the artificially out of us, leaving us the essence of what we really are and clarify what we really yearn for. Hallelujah. Amen. So, let me read the tree. Or see, na ye nim say, wana wado nyanko pono, adie nina edi buwa wane wye wo ye. Wana wana mni tri mu pono su afre wano. Na wan a o hunu wano se, se ino, wa yi wano hon atu wano so. Se wano se, ne banu subay. Hallelujah. Amen. Na wana wo yi wano to hono, wa fre wano onso. Na wana wo fre, o fre wano, wa bu wano bim onso. Na wana wo bu wano bim no, Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. My dear, I'm asking a question. I'm getting a kind of read it. So, for you, made me read the 29 instead of 28. Okay. So, the 28, the 28 says that, and we know that for those who love God, all things work together for good for those who are called according to his purpose. Amen and amen. Did this that one i should consider to 31 yeah okay so it continues to say, for those whom he foreknew he also predestined to be to be conformed to the image of his son in order that he might be the firstborn among many brothers and those whom he predestined he also called and those whom he called he also justified and those whom he justified, he also glorified. The steady one. What then shall we say to those things? If God is for us, who can be against us? Amen and amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. But your mama did me a message, you know. Dear Lord, please have mercy on us. No. And show us the right. A question, man of God. Please, when your prayer answered are delayed, how will you know it is God or the devil? I'm going to add my answer and my mind. I think I may get it too. They send me a question. Okay, a question. One of God, please, when your prayer answers are delayed, how will you know it's, <laughs> it's God or the devil? If you're, 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 you're waiting for um, an answer from God and this lane, well, one thing I will tell you is that you keep praying about it. Just like Sophie even says, until the bones are rotten, you keep praying about it. You don't have to give up praying about it. And then as you pray, one prayer as Christians, we also have to add to our prayers is that because the enemy, according to some of the heaven and hell things that we listen to, one um, of the sins, the person who was supposed to be like, suppose, uh, conform, or see the devil can also answer your prayers. But my belief and my faith is that if you are on the right way with God, um, I don't believe that God will allow the enemy come and answer your prayers. Because whatever thing that the enemy thinks say uh, he's doing for evil, no couple, the Lord will turn it around for your good. So all I'll say is that keep on praying and then don't be um, dismayed. Don't be um don't don't go down like don't regret or don't don't have any funny feeling against God. Just have the hope and the faith, say he the Lord will answer you. And one thing is that you know, God works with time and season. Sometimes we ask God for some things, and then at that point, we are asking Him, we don't need that at that point. And then He prepares us for the better one. Your explanation is you want to get it tomorrow. We wait uh, like in the afternoon, we know we have interview. God, today I have an interview. Should I go? I shouldn't go. Once you have the thing ahead of time, you keep praying about it. And the Lord will keep talking to you. God will keep talking to you just like that. And then He will direct mm -hmm. you. If He doesn't speak well, yet they are. He knows what he has done. So one thing I'll say is that you keep praying about it. And then you tell God, say, you don't want anything to come and answer your prayers. You are talking to him and then you need him to come and answer your prayers. And you plead with him. And I believe and have faith, say, he will help you. So God bless you. Mama, I don't know if that is enough. Yes, yes. And one hour can. That, 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 is, that, that is the correct answer. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. So how will you know that? The, your problem is from God or not? It's by God. He alone will tell you, and you also need to examine yourself. That is why whenever you pray, you humble yourself. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. 
So, child of God, I'm then let's read something from uh, let first Corinthians chapter 11, verse 1. The Bible said that we should be imitators of Christ. Hallelujah. Amen. First Corinthians chapter. Oh, well, it's just a short one, verse 11. Be imitators of me as I am Christ. Hallelujah. Okay. Amen. And let's go to you go to Romans chapter 5, verse 3 to 6. Romans 5, 3 to 6. The Bible says that not only that, but we rejoice in our sufferings, knowing that suffering produces endurance, and endurance produces character, and character produces hope, and hope does not put us to shame, because God's love has been poured into our hearts through the Holy Spirit, who has been given to us. Verse 6. For while we were still weak, at that right, at the right time, Christ died for the ungodly. Amen and amen. Amen. Yeah. Let me read it in you. Romans chapter 5, verse 3 to 6. I say, Nay, ye in cool. Namu, ye are woke while you are one here, Munso. A brow one who here, Munwas, while in trouble. Hallelujah. You need to rejoice. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because whenever we do that, child of God, try us help us to grow as believers and become more like Christ because Christ suffered. So Romans chapter 5, verse 3 is saying that. Now, and it now. So child of God, count it joy when you go into trials. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. I believe you are making note there. Hallelujah. Amen. So make a note and then it will help you to know. And there's a, another one. Trials. I don't know what I've talked about in my data. Trials give us a reward in heaven. Okay, no. no. Okay. So this is uh, maybe this will be the last one that we talk about and then we'll end the program because it's four o'clock. So 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 um it's five o'clock here, right? That's it's four o'clock. Okay. Yeah. It's four o'clock. So we started at two thirty, right? No, two. Two. Okay. So we have done time one. Okay. So child of God, this is what I'm trying to tell you. There is a reward for every child of God. So I've told you there is a book in heaven called the book of tears. Praise the Lord. So anybody, yeah. your tears has been recorded in heaven. We need to have soon in our there's a book in heaven that they have opened for your tears for a reward hallelujah so mm -hmm. my sister can you read something for me can you go to psalm 56 verse 8 psalm 56 verse 8 you have kept count of my tossings. Put my tears in your bottle. Are they not in your books? Please, should I continue? Yes, yes. Then my enemies will turn back in the day when I call. This I know that God is for me. In God, whose word I praise. In the word, in the Lord. No, so I think I think that 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 that, that place is okay. Psalm 56, verse 8. It says that. You have kept count of my causes or my tears. Put my tears in your bottle, and they are not in your book. Hallelujah. Amen. Or see, let me read that to you. Psalm 56. Please, you have not shared the link. I want you to share. Mm. So, the reason why God allows us to pass through trials, tribulations, there's a reward for you. Mm. So, everybody on this. If you want to go to heaven, if you don't, if you don't get this word, you can't go to heaven. You should cry because Christ cried. He suffered. That is why. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I see. Who na wabu mi chini? 
ni mi chinchi yano family sogu ukoto kuomo eni uhuma mu ana so there is a book in heaven that all our tears are being written in so you cry that to cry for god there's a reward for you praise the lord hallelujah i'm here let's read psalm 126 verse 5. so there is a greater reward in heaven that is why god allow us to pass through tribulation Psalm 126, mm -hmm. verse 5. Those who sow in tears shall reap with shouts of joy. Amen. So when Amen. you sow in tears, when you are supporting a ministry or your church and you pay something, hallelujah, you will also receive the reward. Praise the Lord. Let's read Revelation chapter 21, verse 4, please, Pastor. Safo, please take over for me and let me take care okay. of the remarks. Okay, so let's read Revelation chapter 21. But it says, He will wipe away every tear from your eyes. So that the tears that we have been, we have been crying, the day we die, God will wipe it away. Otherwise, this Bible verse will not be fulfilled. What tears are you going to, God is going to be wiped away? He said, that means you're going to reward. He said, He will wipe away. He will wipe away tears from the, the, their eyes and there shall, shall be no more neither shall there be money nor crying nor pain anymore for the former things are passed praise the lord so beloved a day is coming your tears will be washed away so sometimes god allow us to pass through those things so that our tears the day that we die our tears will be washed away hallelujah let's read something from second Corinthians chapter 4 Second Corinthians chapter 4, verses 16 to 18. Let's hear the word of God. And so we do not lose heart, though our, our outer self is wasting away. Our inner self is being renewed day by day. For this light monetary affliction is preparing for us internal way of glory beyond all, all comparison as we look not the things that, that are seen but not but to the thing that are unseen for the thing that are seen are, are transcendent but the thing that are unseen are eternal so there's an eternal reward hallelujah for everybody who suffered for christ so the reason why sometimes God allow you to go into prison, they will arrest you because of the true word. Because there's a greater reward for you. When you go to heaven, God will give you something. So the reason why when you, you help someone, you don't have to say it is, is that everybody, when you take money and give to someone, it's painful. You tear in your heart. But sometimes you give because there's going to be a reward for giving to someone. Because there's another book called the book of remembrance. That everything you are doing this earth will be remembered on the on the judgment day so please don't worry when we are doing good praise the lord hallelujah hallelujah amen then god let's read something from matthew matthew chapter five Verses number number four. Hallelujah. Another reward in heaven for all those who cry and pass through tribulations, who are born again Christians. It says that blessed are those who mourn, for they shall be comforted. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. And let's read that the verse number 10. It said, Blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness' sake, 
For there is the kingdom of God. So if you don't suffer, this word will never come to pass. Why we say one? I see. In shadow one at ten, into what tower? Now one now. One Osra in here, Omodia. Oma ya tamo ya gumen masi. Obi beti masi ami as papa oyu swe dro. I can't remember when I go. I went to Ghana. People were saying all sorts of things about me. Oh, I'm joining a courtly group. Oh, they have sacked me. People were saying every bad things about me. Some were saying, oh. We have been fired, and when I was doing evangelism, people were calculating on me. Many people have disgraced me. People, even people who some of them will pretend as if they love you, but at your back, they will sell bad things against you. Leave it. Don't fight them. There's a reward for you. The Bible said that blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness' sake. For righteous sake, for theirs is the kingdom of God. When you read 11, it says, Blessed are you when others reveal you and persecute you and utter all kinds of evil against you falsely on my account. Rejoice! Rejoice! And be glad, for your reward is great in heaven. I know many people have been, they have been calling, some of you they have been calling you names. Abrewadada. <laughs> some of you they are calling you names. Who they will crash me? Who dress it basasa? Yes, that's a reward. Don't my worry. Sister told me that for people told us, hey, we are looking for a good chef and our dress to see. Oh Lord, have mercy. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Obi ka tsia no wife say yen sum nya me sa na yesu go wu ne di ye di edu hwam ne sie sie no tu ye christo ni a e wose wo sie sie ho ye you need to dress eh 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 things that are eh 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 ne boy ya den costly things because we are we, because we find ourselves that we are there's no need for us to put more on things that we will live on this set hallelujah Amen. and people will say a whole lot of things about you yes Christ is saying there's a reward for you so the reason why sometimes Sometimes we turn and be with God is because there's a greater reward with you. Mm. So people need to persecute you. So that when my sister, who are not the way you see, but when you work and they pay you, you know, this is my end money, my end, mm. my sweat. Hallelujah. Mm. So sometimes God allows us to pass through what we are passing through because, because. There's a greater reward in heaven. That is why when you read first, uh, when you read Matthew chapter five, verse ten to eleven, I say, "In shall one at three into what time? Now one also in here one more there. In the area of bush, one more tower. Am I not how? Hallelujah! Amen. Some of us we know people. Some of some people love us. Some hate us. It is normal. Some need to hate me so that I will also be be. I will also get. I will also receive the kingdom of God. Hey. Obia no obeti mako heaven with that young good and Masi yanka and you and you will yaka well you go and Masi anwa yaka we manu turn and not da he do watch there you are not a child of God praise the Lord I see in Sunday mo wa ya mo yes until now na wa ta mo na mi di until wa di a troka asamboni ni na bi tomo so into obeka se papa we obtain come a preachy person and no preachy can na mi asem the so obtain come on free na mi in Sunday me I can't remember. When I went to Ghana, I was preaching. Some people came and he saw to me, "Go, go and work. You are not working." And they are pass here. We have a verse. We go pray. Jumanya, namu swadi adet de wuno, and we will be rewarded for all those things, all those insults. I say, "Mama manenge, namu mama muhunsa pamo, namu kati ya wasro, na sana wote di fa wodi kaino." Hallelujah. Amen. My sister, let's read Mark chapter ten, verse twenty-eight to thirty. Let's hear the promise of Jesus Christ. Mark chapter 28. Yes. Mark chapter 10, verse 28. 10, 28. Okay. So the Bible says that Peter began to say to him, See, we have left everything and followed you. Jesus said, Truly I say to you, there is no one who has left house or brothers or sisters or mothers or fathers or children or lands for my sake and for the gospel who will not receive a hundredfold now in this time houses and brothers sisters and mothers and children and lands with persecution and in the age to come eternal life 
but many who are first will be last and the last shall be first amen and amen hallelujah amen. christ has a promise jesus said no one has left his home brothers or sisters or mother or father hallelujah our fuse for me and the gospel will fail to receive a hundred times as much as in this present age homes and in the age of eternal life so if people are calling you names if people are shouting on you if people are disgracing you there's a greater reward for you it is better it happened otherwise you never get this thing, rewards if you are following christ and things are hard pursue not everybody is up you so oh god if i tell you that the things i pass through you you'll be surprised and you every day you see me here you think god is well huh? somebody think that this money has money you every time he come here because I, in america time is money mm -hmm. hallelujah mm -hmm. but i'll come and spend here i'll spend two hours here when we finish this, we are going to pray for another two hours and within the day somebody has called me with this or a problem so i i have about i've spent one hour or one and a half hour on others in the night two at 11 we also pray so all this is i'm doing for god i'm going to receive a reward one day on this that god will reward me you will let everybody know that if he has called me so maybe you may mock me you may laugh at me oh this guy every day yeah he wear one dress it is good that i wear one dress and go to heaven that change my dress and go to hellfire and for that oh i have money i am no i i i i i i, I am it is good sir i remember when i went to ghana we say ah some people were insulting me hallelujah in all these things i give it to god oh but there's a reward i mean said that is why I'm doing everything possible that my reward will not go in vain. I spent more time on others even than my family members. But hey, I know God will reward me. Praise the Lord. Mm -hmm. So because I am not doing it for money, and I'm not, God knows that I don't preach for money. God knows that I don't pray with you because of money. And nobody can even say that I've called him that God has revealed to me that give me money. <laughs> I've never said, even when God revealed such a thing to me, I will never say it. That I said, so far, I know I, I know one lady who told me she asked me a question. She said she doesn't understand it. She knows someone who is like a prophetess, and then when the person sees something about somebody, then he'll tell the person to bring money. If the person doesn't bring the money, then the bad the bad thing will happen to them because they now they learn sense. If the Lord revealed things to them and then they sit and they pray for the person to be okay they don't come and thank them so she too should take money mm -hmm. and then like the lady has a, a child and the child's father and um, i think said the, the prophetess saw something about the child's father and then he told she told the lady and the lady went mm -hmm. to tell the guy and the prophetess was saying said they should bring money the guy, and they didn't send any money and the guy had the supposed accident but didn't die recently she was talking to me, we were praying, and then she said the lady was calling, but she didn't answer. So when we were done, and she called the lady back, and the lady was saying, Sir, she has seen another accident again about the guy. By this time, if she, she doesn't, he doesn't bring the money, then the accident is going to take place. <laughs> and so the girl, the lady was very furious when she called me. I was like, You were supposed to rebuke it right in front of her. That's before you continue. But don't say, Okay, what? Okay, what? What does that mean? And she was asking me that why is it me when we are praying god, god reveals things to me and i pray but i don't ask for money i'm like me when god was calling me god didn't tell me he's going to ask for money the gift is it's not for me he gave it to me so if there's any money he will give it to me he will touch your heart to give it to me but i won't come and ask you for the money that you might oh, i've seen something so if you don't pay the money then bad thing will happen to, like that night i'm not sure if god will let me sleep because the way he would discipline me that night he will let this uh, ashay waga people come and beat me because already they want to beat me that he is protecting me and i go and put myself into this big ditch then they will chew my meat and i'll be left in bones in the morning so so far i just wanted to add up to what you were saying <laughs> amen amen osina petro fiti asia seno se she ye jan yo men yina ho yesu aradi me jan yo men yina ho Yes, do you think that if I am using the time that God has given me 
money to work and get money some to preach the true word to save souls and somebody is also working and building houses god will not reward me one day so do you think god will allow me to suffer till i die no one day in sober talk one day it will rain from Bayamre. And you think that your money, your time that you will be paying, that your money, that you will be paying to support God. God will watch you out and one day everything will go in vain. No. Dakro and so The God of reward that he will reward you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I say no crime. I say, oh, be a new I you are very man and I and you are no man. Ana ena na eja ana ma ana sase nini me me nim asempa no nti na orinya afei ni ni nua nom ni ni nua ma ni 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 ena nom ni ma ni asase bo ho oha a otaka ho se se wo bri mu ni dankwa god the reward that god said that the reward i will receive some on this earth and i will receive some in heaven my dear Pray for me, okay? Because this thing, I'm not good. This word, I will go for it. No matter what I pass through. The only thing I pray is that may God give me the grace to finish well in him. Because many people tried it, but they couldn't complete. They couldn't finish well. So their reward will not be given to them. But I want, uh, me and you, we, are, we want God to give us the end. A beautiful end. Mm -hmm. The grace to finish well. So that... We will go for a reward. One thing that makes me not to sin is that I have seen that hey, if I fool, if I do everything and lie that minute I fool, I will lose all my all what I've suffered for. So I am making my mind that I will not allow anything to take me to hellfire. I have I have a few days left on this set. Few days. Hallelujah. Amen. There are a few days can be 10 years, can be 100 years. It depends upon how God wants me to be. Because the eyes of God, that thing is very dangerous. That is why I tell you, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. That is why I tell you that please let all be very serious. Hallelujah. Amen. Because when you read some uh, Ezekiel chapter 33, hmm. verses number 11, the Bible says something. It said that if the righteous person, eh? mm -hmm. let me read, put all his trust on his righteousness. 33 verse 11. Let's I will let read that. He said, Say to them, as I live, declare the Lord, I have no pleasure in the death of the wicked. But that but that the wicked turn from his way and leave turn back down. And let me read that 12. He said, And you, son of man, say to your people, the righteous of the righteous shall not deliver him when he transgress, and if as for the wickedness of the wicked. He shall not fall by. So, let's read the 14 rather. Again, though I said to the wicked, let me read the, uh, uh, the, the 13. He said, though I said to the righteous that he shall surely die, he shall surely live. Yet, if he trusts in his righteousness and does injustice, mm -hmm. none of his righteous deeds shall be remembered. That is my fear. That if I, I think that I'm doing something righteous and I turn, I go for powers to prophesy. Mm. I go for girlfriend. Apart from my wife, I have concubines. I start deceiving people. Come for, uh, bring me money. I am selling pomade. I am selling handkerchief. I am selling water. And then, I it's not from God. I will lose everything. My I've wasted a lot in God. It's not for so, so many years, but I cherish even if one day I cherish it. Mm. So I want to receive this word that is why i'm pursuing that is why i know there's the greater reward if i'm able to end world that is what i want you to know don't allow your present situation to take you away from the glory of god mm. don't allow anybody to deceive you praise the lord hallelujah so i want to encourage you don't allow your present situation to take you away from the glory of god mm. and don't be deceived glory to bless you all mm -hmm. i'm getting at your last word we are going to continue god willing tomorrow we want to finish uh we have about um we have about five and then we'll end with um this topic and then 
Uh, we'll come to another of God really next week. Why the world hates Christians. Hallelujah. We are going to let so that you know when people are hating you, you understand. Oh, this is why. And we'll go into the Bible for you to understand. So, God willing, tomorrow uh, we will complete why God allowed trust and temptation to come to us. We will end it, we will summarize it. And then next week, God willing, we are we are bringing a new topic. And I know your life will never be the same. Mamma Janet, your last uh, word. Okay. Um, God bless you so much, so for mm. One thing I want everybody to know is that whatever it be, you know, you go through trials. But please, when it is time and then you are going through it, don't speak against the Lord. Don't let your frustrations let you speak against God. Just know, so whatever thing that, whether you put yourself through it, whether God allowed it come your way, whatever, whatever thing that you did made you go into it, whichever one it be, know that God is there to rescue you. Because if he was able to command the shark to, to vomit Jonah out, then I don't know what he cannot command to let it bring you out if you are being kidnapped into anything. So all that I want to say is that have patience and then um, be filled with the Holy Spirit and then let the Holy Spirit lead you and guide you and direct you as in what to do. And keep on praying. Don't give up. God is with you. Amen and amen. Amen. Shout out to God. God will bless you. God bless you all for the comments. Mama Lydia, God bless you. God bless you, Papa and Mom. God bless you, Mama Doris. Love bridge. She said, God bless you so much, Daddy. God bless you too. Uh, fun this way. God bless you too. Today is my first time of seeing you here. You are welcome. You can join our that platform. We pray every midnight at 10 p.m. And the Holy Spirit speaks. God speaks during that our time. Mama, Yama Robert, God bless you, man of God. It's a long time I saw you on the prayer line. I want to see you tonight. Come and let's pray for you. God bless you for this time. Mama, uh, love bridge. God, uh, Mama, um, Yama Robert. Uh, Mama, Doris, uh, love bridge. Say, God bless you, Mama Jane. God bless you. My sister, Lydia Kufu. God bless you. I think the program is coming on this weekend, right? God bless you. Um, I'm a Lydia Tech. God bless you. Shout out God. We, I want to invite anybody who just joined us for the first time or who has been joining us but have, have not been joining our prayer meeting. We pray every midnight at 10. Hallelujah. Join us. Yesterday was very powerful. Yesterday, on Tuesdays and Saturdays, we pray on Facebook. So yesterday, we prayed on Facebook. It was who who Dios. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. It was wonderful. Hallelujah. God willing. This Saturday, we pray on Facebook at 8.30 p.m. But every midnight, we pray on our platform. Please join us tonight. Your life will never and ever be the same. This is your, your brother, Michael Oseyafre. And uh, I came I came on your, we came on your way. I came with my wife. Because of the case, we also need to go and take care of the case. I started with her, but she's, she's taking care of this. So that we, we can also have, I can also have peace and then reach the true word. So uh, God bless you, uh, whoever joined me. And also, we also have uh, Mami Janet. She's not a guest. She's um, our sister who's, uh, uh, who is part of us. So um, that is why today is a day. Wednesdays are for Mami Janet. Hallelujah. So we are here to support her on Wednesdays. Praise the Lord. Mm -hmm. So children of God, God, of, God Almighty bless everybody who joined us tonight. Uh, we are going to pray for the last one and two prayer and then we end the prayer but before we pray i want you to pray before i want to lead you to christ but before we do that i want us to pray you are pleading for the mercy of god the lord as your word has come i have gone to situation where i have insulted you i've even said that i will not worship you again sometimes i feel that you are very worse god god please have mercy and forgive me Make a set ya, me ya bonitia, because I'm a bread. Mister, I never had a young man wait to me. Oh, Hefa. But I have been so prideful. I didn't know it was my past mistake. I didn't know sometimes you wanted, because there's a reward for me. I have sinned against you. Please have mercy and forgive me. Pray and ask God for forgiveness. 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 P
for my inner man is not a radiant. Lord, Lord, I say, Lord, Lord, say no, you've been forgive me for saying all of this against you. I didn't know you wanted to polish me. I didn't know it was my good. I didn't know it was my bad sin. I'm very, very sorry. I complain. I have said a whole lot of things against you. I'm so, so sorry. Please forgive me. How much so? I didn't remember. But I will please for your mercy and your grace. Lord, forgive me. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lord, forgive us. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And you please have mercy and forgive us. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen. Children of God, God Almighty bless you. You are saying God that may God wash you with his blood. Anything, anything that the enemy has been using to fight against you because because of your passing you are pleading for the mercy of god alone by your grace and by your mercy please wash me with your blood pray pray Please wash us, Lord, with the precious blood. Our sins are washed away. Thank you, Lord. 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 Thank I surrender them to the places of the of the we are praying for the strength to endure to the end. Mm -hmm. That may God give us the strength to endure to the end. Mm -hmm. I'm getting I got three minutes, not three percent, then my phone will go off. I'm charging, but it's not charging. Mm -hmm. So yeah. let's pray that may God give us the grace to finish well in Him. May God empower us to end well in Him. Pray, 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 pray. we are praying that may god restore us our blessings and whatever you need from god ask him maybe what your, your maybe god was stretching for some time you are telling god i beg you from today renew my marriage renew my business increase my finances Pray for restoration. Father, what about from God? Pray, pray, pray. Please, it is Tada Bada Bada. Please, 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 Restore my strength. Restore my strength. Restore your grace. Restore me. Restore me. Give me the divine grace. Empower me and instruct your power in me. Lead me not into temptation, but deliver me from all evil. Please give us your grace. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Can you say this after me? Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. Thank you for speaking to me. Speaking to us, I thank you, Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus Please Christ. Please forgive me for all my sins. Please forgive us for all our sins and wash our sins away with your and blood. Whatever you are, raise up your hand and say, This is after me because okay. this is the only way for your salvation. Say, Lord, Lord. It, it's written in your way. That if I confess with my mouth, if I confess black like, Jesus Christ is Lord, and I Lord. believe in my heart. That in my heart, Christ has risen from the dead. Has risen me from the dead. I shall be saved. So, so tonight, so tonight, I mention your name. 
chain of a sewer. I take you, Lord Jesus Christ. We take you, Lord Jesus Christ. As our Lord and personal our, Savior. Lord and personal Savior. We will love you. We love you. All the days of our All the days of our lives. So help us, God. So help us, God. Please write our name in the book of life. Please write our names in the book of life. Affirm it with your blood. Affirm it with your blood. Help us to work in your status. Help us to work in your status. And help us to do all your work. And help us to do all your work. So that when you return, so that when you return, we will pass the chosen ones. The chosen ones. We give you glory, Lord. Glory, Lord. And we thank you for accepting us. Thank you for accepting us. In the mighty name Jesus. of Jesus Christ, Amen. 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 People of God, God Almighty, bless you all for joining us. We are so excited that you made yourself available tonight to join us. I know you are blessed, and I've taken my you to take yours from it. Let's go and sin no more. Let's go and do the will of God. Mm -hmm. Let's walk in the status of God and know that one day, one day, we are going to be our king. Mm -hmm. My name is God's servant, Michael Osiafre. Please join us tonight. Those on the platform, I'm having a problem with my laptop. So I, I will rush to buy a new one, uh, a new cord. My cord has, has, been broke, has, has, has been broken. So tonight prayer meeting will be delayed for either 10 minutes or 15 minutes because I will drive and go and, and get a new one. So please, tonight I will open it there but when you come you wait for me and then mommy janet will take over when i come then i'll continue but because i'm using three phones it will not be possible so um when i come we'll start it okay. so it will be a little, little bit delayed for about 10 minutes or 15 minutes i believe uh all those who are here will, will know and then you are there to it god bless you for joining us mommy janet your last word god bless us all may the lord help us be able to do his will it's not easy, but I pray for his grace and then his help to take over. And then may he, the Lord, come down and, and deliver us in Jesus Christ's name. God bless everybody for coming. Madam Doris and all the love, Mama Linda, and then Mama Amadou. And I'm not seeing the names. I'm just mentioning them off ahead. So Mama Mary Adai, Mama Victoria Demia, Mama Gladys, and Mama Hedi, Mama Yama Roberts. God bless everybody, whoever that came on. May the Lord bless you all in Jesus Christ's name. Amen and amen. Mm -hmm. Shafo, mm -hmm. uh, yes, remember to pray for Mama Yama Roberts because the sign the Lord is showing me means that she's sick. So may the Lord heal her from any sickness. So Mama God Yama Roberts, I've told her to join us tonight. If she joins us, we'll pray for her. But if she couldn't, we'll still pray for her. But it's better she join us. Mama Yama Roberts, are you still on the platform? And uh, Mrs. Oporin Kansa. So for mommy, uh, Ramatu, Nyami, Shira, yes, God she bless you. I, I saw Sister Benedicta too. Sister Benedicta, to God Almighty, bless you so much for joining us. Everybody who joined us tonight, God will bless you so much. We are so mm -hmm. excited to see you all for joining us. Uh, we love you so much. Uh, please live a holy life for Christ. It's coming. Amen. Salvation is now, mm -hmm. not tomorrow. We'll see you do the things of God. Remember, on this set, people will mock you. People will say all sorts of things about you. But hey, don't give up. And don't allow your present situation to take you away from the glory of God. And say, then I'm going back to the world. Be truthful at all times. Let your yes be your yes. And your no be your no. Mm -hmm. God bless you for joining me. And I'm going to see you very soon on my platform. Tomorrow, God, when I'll be here with my wife, I don't know, Mami Jeanette, if she will join us, we'll be here what we need tomorrow to end this topic of why God allowed trials and traditions to come upon us. I hope maybe God will end tomorrow, we may end it. If not, we'll continue the next time. God bless you all. We love you. Uh, we are going to see you very soon. Yeah, God willing, we are going to see you very soon. I believe everybody is so blessed tonight. And let's all go and see no more. All forgiveness has taken many Christians to hell. Don't be a victim of all forgiveness. Mm -hmm. It will lead you to hellfire. Mm -hmm. Unforgiveness, fear. Mm -hmm. Forgive everybody who has offended you mm -hmm. and love your neighbor as yourself. Mm -hmm. 
Hallelujah. Forgive all. Forgive all of them. Praise the Lord. Forgive everybody who has offended you. Don't keep things in your heart against anybody. Leave Mary it for the rabbit. So, for who can. Please, if you're holding anything against anybody, let it go. I'm sorry, I'm talking about the unforgiveness. Your name was mentioned to me. Please don't hold anything against anybody. Let it go. God bless you. So, Mary, you have anything against anybody? God bless you. Let let it go. Mama, glad it's such a I mean, God bless you, my sister. God will bless you so for joining us. Um, God bless. Oh my God. Mami, God bless you. You say you have a soft spot for him. Who? The one you just mentioned in her name. Gladys. Yes. Yeah, this was soft spot at the man. Soft spot to say. Hey, it's not true. What can I say? To say, oh, I come off of be the man. I don't know if that's right. Okay, so God bless brother Albert. To my Papa, Namisha, we love you so much for how you fear God and your wife too. God bless brother Albert and the wife. God bless uh, Mama Amadou Mariama. God bless you, Sister and Cancer of Fori Ramatu, woman of God. Nami Onshra, Papa, Papa, we love you so much. And I, whenever me, who knew, Kunu, Ucha combination, I love it. God bless you so much. Amen. You guys are doing great for God, and God richly bless you. Amen. Sometimes I listen and I feel like, wow, like more, 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 more like the way you guys are doing is so wonderful. I, I, I'm happy for you guys. Amen. God richly bless you. And then I know, say God will take you guys far. Okay. Praise the Lord. So, children of God, God will bless everybody who is here. Sister Ramatu has her own platform. You can join here. She also preach. I think she do it every. I don't know the day she does it, but in the morning and then in the evening. I don't know. She said, uh, "Fear God, fearing man of God." And then who again? Elder of Rimpong, Kwaju, Elder Naminshra. We are ending the program here. And our God will live tomorrow. Please join us early. We meet at 7 p.m. Maybe you went to church. That is why. My God will live tomorrow. Be here at 7 p.m. God will live and your life will never be the same. We salute you so much, Elder. We appreciate your time being here. This little time, God will bless you so, so much. God bless you. We love you so much. And we appreciate your time being here. I am your servant and I will always be your servant. Michael, dear friend. And I came with my wife, Obapa and Estina, and my sister, Mami Janet. Anybody who shared this video, I pray for you that as you share this video, may God also share more blessings upon your life. May God pour more blessings upon you that it will be more, it will be uncountable. I pray that may God increase Mary Evangelist in Jesus' name. May God increase Anawasa in Jesus' mighty name. May God increase Sister Ramatu in Jesus' name. May God increase. Elder or uh, uh, Bimpo in Jesus' mighty name. God bless you, Elder. God bless you. God bless you so much. May God strengthen you and may God empower you. Elder, tomorrow I'll be expecting you. I salute you so much. God bless you, Papa. God bless you. God bless you, Tabadu Maria. May God bless you, Mary Evangelist. God will bless you, Mary Adai. And God bless you, Brother Albert. God bless you, Mama Victoria Dimia, and everybody. We love you so much. Amen. We'll see you. Bye bye. Bye bye. -bye.